Here we are again. It's Friday. It's March 15th. The year 2024, and here we all are right before you once again. We have a beautiful show. What year is it? And there's nothing more beautiful than love. And love, I love love, and love loves love. You know, we have two people with love in their name here. Love loves you. Who's who's the who? The My dog? name is Daniel Swerdlove. Swerdlove. That's true. Why don't we use that more? That's not. Daniel Swerdlove loves love. That Dan love loves. Swerdlove. That's, that's some hardcore shit. Swerdlove. Do you love love like love, love loves love? <laughs> um, I feel like I can't claim to because his name is actually just love and I have the sword in there kind of right. mucking it up. It's not pure. Yeah, it's not pure. But, but love is love. It's not pure love. We can add another dimension. We discovered your name is technically Swedish. If you go back far If you enough. go back far enough, the root of my last name is Swedish. So I'm... Yeah. And it's uh, in <laughs> yeah. Swedish, it's sword leaf. Right. Very cool. Very cool. Damn. Word, it all go back to Sweden. <laughs> yeah, back to Sweden. Well, today we have Cradle a really... of civilization. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> That's what I always say. Um, today we have a really fun episode planned, a special episode because as we were debating um, uh, Fresh and Fit on Wednesday. As I said, we were multitasking because we are a team of tremendous workers, of visionary creatives. And um, Cam, Sam, and Ian were on location with Jeff. Uh, Ian, you look phenomenal today, may I say. I really... You're glowing, actually. Nice to see you. Thank you. Uh, they were recording Jeff's first date. And let me tell you, from what I've seen, magical. People have laughed at the idea of this being a serious dating show. After today, the laughter stops and the tears begin. <laughs> Everyone will be crying by the end of this. Tears of, uh, that you never knew you could squeeze out before just simply because you didn't know that you could love love like love loves love. <laughs> Oh, Ela's uh, uh, our our nanny's called in sick this morning, so she's with the kids. It was a long. She's with the kids, basically. She's kind of sick too, right? Yeah, she's sick. She's also like pregnant. I don't know if she's like right. hella pregnant. <laughs> she's like basically could she? I mean, technically, she could really go into labor at any time. Although, she's got a couple more weeks. Uh oh. <coughs> Excuse me. So yeah, we have the um Jeff is gonna come in at around 1 30 with the lovely Morgan. And so we are gonna watch their date together. Um they took a romantic boat ride. Uh a romantic boat ride. In a sw in a love swam boat. Oh my god. I mean, give me a break. Mm -hmm. Um and then after we watch that, they're both going to come sit with us for an interview. Very exciting. And he's got another date planned coming up here soon, right, Ian? Like, we're hitting the ground running. Yeah, I believe next week, uh, right, Sam? It's all yes. booked up. Yes. What's the schedule? Uh, the next date will air next Friday, and then the next <coughs> one will air the following Monday. <clears throat> And that's the week, essentially. So that's that's the week where finale. I think that you have to get engaged. Yeah. We should have a. You know what? We should have a um, an officiator, someone you should licensed get to wed. So that yeah. whenever anybody oh, needs can I it. I heard I could do that online. You can do it yeah. online. Yeah. yeah. Super easy. They talk about it in ninety days. Can you do Beyonce. it for me, Lena? Mm -hmm. I'll look into <laughs> it. You can hold that power for sure. Just tell me. You know what I mean? Just get it with my name on it. Absolutely. Lena's writing it down. Good. She's, Imagine busting it out at events. Me like anyone want to get married? I got I you. No, but for real, maybe they'll say yes. I don't know. So, <clears throat> before that, we've got all yes, kinds yes, of other yes. um, nonsense to talk about. <laughs> I think fun nonsense, although it's debatable. Um, L Nick, member for two years. Thank you so much. 
Um, hi, Ethan. Neil, my dad started a hospice after battling cancer for four years. We've always bonded over OG Godzilla, and he wants to be buried in his favorite TF Godzilla Destroyer T. Any chance there's one I can buy? Wait, which one is the God, the TF Godzilla Destroyer T? Um, do we know which one that? Is? I mean, I'm sure there's a way for us to find. Oh, this one. Okay, hold on. Uh, we should be able to. Hold on, I'm just trying to find the correct one. This this is the one. The fuck is this website? Oh, is this okay? Hold on. I want to make sure I'm bringing up a legit website before I bring any link on. Can you guys reach out to that uh, person? God, there's so many dumb. F Ugh. The internet is so annoying sometimes. <laughs> what is? Like, I, I don't know why, but all these like these uh, rip-off clone websites, they're obsessed with stealing shit from us. There's some sure. straight up from weirdos on the, the internet. And you're saying like your search results are flooded by all the fake sites? I just type TF Godzilla Destroyer and yeah, they're just like... And I'm sure they're, they don't send you anything. They're not gonna... Or they'll send you like a really fucked up <laughs> I was shirt. just talking to somebody here this morning, but... Um... The internet as we know it is uh, on its way out, I think. Is that right? So, well, it's just everything's useless now. Like, it's all flooded with just AI, bots, <coughs> and garbage, scams, and it's like, I feel like every day it's like just worst, just basic search functionality. It's like you can't even find your own product on Google. <laughs> you know, I've noticed, Here, here's the page. I'll, I'll pull up our website. This was such a fun collection. I, I've, I felt that too, Dan. I can't find... Oh, the collection is empty. God damn it. <laughs> I think I have it. I, I, I think I know the shirt you're talking about. It's the, it's the drawing one, I think. Anyway, we're going to look for it. We have her... We have their... Oh, yeah. The we'll find one. the shirt. If we can't find the shirt, I'll send you mine. That's, funnily enough, my favorite t-shirt ever. Oh, for real? I love that yeah. shirt. Oh, that's so nice, yeah. love. Yeah. I'll, we're going to send you this shirt, okay? And we'll, we'll do it um we'll do it post haste. If you can I'm send if, it. if we can find one in the office, Lena, if not, then I'll let's send it out this weekend. I can I can uh, get mine or Monday. I'm going to send it. Did they say what size? Uh, did they say what size? Mm, I don't think so. Uh, probably we, lot probably We have large. their Instagram. I found their Instagram. So, you found oh, okay. yeah, we can connect. Okay, got yeah, it. I'll check if we have here. I don't mean to be a buzzkill, but Love was looking for that specific shirt a while yeah. ago. I and put we were up having trouble finding it. Well, when you I've, have cancer, let me know. Yeah, I I put out a bounty mm. on not that T-shirt. Sort of. I button that. No, it's okay. No. Cancer joke. I it's, no, it's you're saying the person with cancer should get the shirt first. <laughs> yeah, yeah, <laughs> that yeah. makes sense to me. Okay, got sorry, yeah. Love. Yeah, I put out a bounty on it like one, a half a year ago, and it's like. You can and, find it. No, nah, because the one I have nice is shirt. very worn. I wear it a lot. It's my oh. most worn t-shirt. Oh, no. no. Yeah. All right, well, you can but have we'll mine. we'll get you one for sure. You can have mine. Yeah. Like, legit. <laughs> um, <clears throat> Sorry about your dad, though. That's... <sighs> That's the worst. Um, anyway... We have, uh, oh, poor Jay Shetty, man. He's really going through it. Finally, some sympathy for my boy. I wasn't nice sure. I, him. Yeah. I wasn't sure what kind of legs this Jay Shetty story had, but like it keeps going. He, he's getting Cuomo. Look at this. Although n News Nation isn't exactly mainstream because Cuomo got Cuomo by CNN. I am Jewish. <laughs> Cuomo got cuomo yeah. Cuomo on Cuomo. <laughs> cuomo on Cuomo crime. Uh, but here's our boy. And... I am disabled. I, it's, it's getting there. Celebrity guru outed as a fraud. My goodness. I did not think that this silly meme would turn into a, a Domino's thing of actually... <laughs> it became real. Everybody. We manifested it, man. <laughs> Jay, just know this. I never, I started this whole thing just with pure funny intentions. And I'm still on your side, frankly. You know. Even after speaking to. Yeah. So what? You're not a, so what? You're not a monk. 
So what, you didn't live in India. So what if you stole a bunch of shit? Um, right. And That's so what wrong. if, so what? You're doing it, you're walking the walk, and you, you officiated J-Lo's wedding. Who the fuck else can say that shit? Oh, you found one already? Yeah, so I just realized, I've been looking for one of these forever, and I found an XL one, and I was like, fuck. I was so bummed out of that one XL, but it's Too probably big. perfect for her, right? Yeah. XL? Wow, yeah. that was awesome. That was, that was quick. That's so funny. We do things around here. Because I went through a massive pile of clothes, and I was like, <gasps> And then I was like, oh, Excel. And I folded it up and put it aside because I was like, well, maybe I'll do something with oh, it. Oh, nice. Anyways. Thank you, man. Well, Good. Go. Meant to Let's be. go, dude. If, we, if we can make contact, we could actually send it to her to today. Yeah, yeah. definitely. Potentially. I don't know. That post office closed. Or mm -hmm. closed I'm going to send it. Big That's up. the t-shirt you wore, you, I think, just once, Ethan, on the show. So it makes it extra special, too. Oh, I did wear oh, that yeah. one. <laughs> yes, from... Oh, so yeah. that might be my... That actually probably is mine. Yeah, probably. Sick. Big nice. Up. Does it smell like me? <laughs> no. No, it smells, smells like, like a shirt. Yeah. Mm. Cool. Maybe not then. <laughs> <clears throat> um. Anyway, I'm so sorry, Jay. You know, because this man, he interviewed Michelle Obama. He interviewed Joe Biden. Right. Selena Gomez. Obama. Go yeah, even, even bigger than the president. Uh, yep. Selena. Selena more Gomez. followers on Insta. True. So like, you more can about, never take <laughs> away. Real president. You can't take anything away from the guy. And at the end of the day, you if you do take everything away, he's still got the eyes, which means he can get it all back. Yeah, that's true. He probably has a quote that he stole from somebody about that exact thing. <laughs> By the way, that's my new favorite uh, community meme now. Like, anytime there's a qu quote. It's just Jay Shetty. Shetty. <laughs> That's good. We love that. All right. Well, that worked out nicely. <laughs> worked out nicely. <laughs> you orchestrated it. <laughs> yeah. Make things happen. <laughs> or not. I was talking about the... Um... About the shirt. Yeah. It is yeah, funny, yeah, though, in the context of Jay. <laughs> well, that worked out. <laughs> anyway. <laughs> Next. <laughs> yeah, who's next? <laughs> On my fucking... Oh, God. I see why everyone hates me, though, for sure. <laughs> like, people are just like, I love Jay Shetty. I just want to enjoy his show. Why the fuck do you have to ruin everything? Right. And I... I get well, really, you know, I don't think... It's uh, not my fault. Do you think uh, Jay is really going to suffer too much of a consequence <laughs> from this? It's not your fault. It depends. You know, it hurt his reputation in certain circles, but I... I just feel like um, the fan base that he's cultivated is likely not, it's not your fault. too interested in the drama it, around it. You it, know what it, I mean? It depends how, how big it goes. Because if it keeps getting attention, what would happen is like, you're not going to see him on Gap anymore, probably, in the mall. You know, those beautiful blue eyes watching wherever you go, like Big Brother. I'll miss that. Imagine Big Brother had eyes it like that. It just won't that. be the same at the mall. No. For real, we'd be living in 1984 if Big Brother had eyes like that. Oh, yeah. You'd be like, yes. It'd be done. Whatever you say. Yeah. <laughs> oh, um, L. Nick responded, oh, my God, me and my parents are crying. We love you so much. The cream one with the cartoon Aww. drawing. That's the one we got. Oh, that's, uh, first of all, thank you so much that um, that shirt is so meaningful to you, to you guys. That's really touching. I I'm, I'm happy that we're able to. My dad is crying. Wow. This feels like a miracle. Jeez. Thank you. Well, I'm so glad, you guys. Almost as good as him not dying, says El Nick. I believe she's, she's in the spirit of something that I would say. Right. Um, <laughs> almost as good. But we, we're, we're pretty dang close. Yeah. Pretty dang close. Um, we should send them a whole bunch of stuff. Get their info. and If they can um, reach out to me, I can send <coughs> all of that out today. <coughs> Well, oh, thank you, Sam. Oh, yeah. nice. For sure. And I want to pull a whole bunch Efficiency. of... Efficiency. Yes. Send it. Yeah. Unfortunately, the order isn't over 75, so you will have to pay us for shipping. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah. Don't, come on. We'll... I'm kidding. I'm not. Yeah. I'm... <laughs> we'll take a, you can, we'll take a rain check. <laughs> well, it'll be cash on delivery. <laughs> you remember that shit? They yeah. don't do that anymore, do they? Maybe in certain instances... Cash? I mean, did they even do it when we were kids? Like every every commercial would say that that was an option, but 
Somebody was doing you know it. know anybody anywhere that did that? Some motherfuckers were doing that. <laughs> I guess so. Cash on delivery. So the post, the, the deliverer has to like put your shit on layaway if you can't pay him. Like that's not his job. Damn. <laughs> um, I mean, maybe it literally is his job, actually. <laughs> It probably was at some point. I guess, like, yeah, it probably was literally his job. <laughs> the closest I got to that was um, I received a letter from the post office and there wasn't enough postage on it. So I had to pay the postman right there. They hit you up for the postage? Mm-hmm. F- to get the letter? Mm-hmm. How's like, that your fault? They're like, you can send it back or you can just pay for it. Dude. Was it something that you wanted? Fuck yeah. Oh, well, then, okay. It was like an extra stamp it needed or something like that. Get out of here. How, oh, that is outrageous, dude. An extra stand. You know, it's time wh- to arm ourselves. People. You know what would have prevented that from happening? A digital scale from stamps.com. You mm-hmm. code H3 slash H3. Beloved by all, all especially Allie. Mm-hmm. She's, a, she's a great lady and she has great taste in uh, corporate and <laughs> in, in, in her corporate decisions. Yeah. To, to, who to support. Yeah. Uh, can I give you a note on the title? I just want to add something to it. Sure. Right now it says Jeff's first date with Morgan. And then let's do this. Dash. Date Dash. plus. Or wait, no. First date with Morgan. Date plus interview. Date plus follow up. In- so interview. Jeff's first date interview. with Morgan plus. Follow- well, follow up is like very. Plus in studio interview. And yeah. follow up. Am I mean that? Jeff's first date with Morgan. Ampersand. Yeah, I was ins- waiting for that to pop up. <laughs> and how to write a YouTube. Yeah, thank you. Just a little extra flavor. Got to update the sub count on that overlay, though. All different things. <laughs> Plus. <laughs> oh, she, you know what happened? That's fresh and fit debate. And we just right. lost a whole bunch more subs. Yeah. After date tell all. Ooh. And after date tell all. We Ooh. should make Jeff leave and then just act like, all right. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. <laughs> so tell the <clears throat> okay, so you like that? Yeah, that's good. Thank and, you. and also, we wanted to order Wendy's. Just throwing that out there. Yeah, we did. Let's fucking go. Somebody got to take the lead though, because I can't. I, it's hard for I'm me to. I'm on it. Yeah, good. I'm on it. Sam said. <laughs> Sam said, "How high?" Just saying. Sam Wendy. is de- decked out in blockbuster uh, <laughs> swag. Everybody notice. Gotta rep- represent your people. Now, Blockbuster and Ikea, wow. there's... There's some overlap. Someone needs to figure out what's going on here. Yeah. Oh. Now, Blockbuster's gone, so that's what's going on. Conspiracy-wise. You think Sweden It's the same it. shit. Yeah, we did that shit. Mm. We did that shit, dude. You think they were first? No, we were first. Well, all that matters is who was who last. Was first. That's goddamn right. That's right. Blockbuster. That's right, brother. That's fucking right, dude. <laughs> you said well, it. the Swedish flag. <laughs> colors. Right. Can I ask you guys a question? Which thumbnail do you think is better? This one? <laughs> Ethan. <laughs> just quick introduction. This one is just, it's a little, okay, this one's good. It's not bad. And then there's the current one, which is, um. Here, I'll drop it. Yeah, thanks. You. <laughs> and you guys can Boy. tell me what you think. I, I value your opinions. <laughs> uh, and then there's this one. Now this one, you can see the faces more yeah. clearly, which is good. However, also our audience knows Morgan from the cowboy video. Yeah, so okay. it may so maybe the be... current. Thank you, Cam. We'll go, but we'll stay with the current one. I requested the second one. Cam nailed it from the from the from the get go, as mm-hmm. they say. <laughs> yeah. So we've gone, been going to war with. Oh, one more thing. This jacket you may have noticed. Which jacket? The one I'm wearing. I oh. noticed it. Oh, TeddyFresh.com. Oh, really? No way. I no way. New clothing is out today, and Set by the way, off. free shipping on all U.S. orders over seventy-five dollars. Um, let's take a look at what free is pot- shipping, y'all. This is the tapestry jacket that I'm wearing, and this thing is gorge i mean i don't know else, how to describe it i love tapestry fabric it's so jacket off. it's like my favorite thing right now you got the dude j- you know what would go perfect with that jacket is these pants yo, 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 yo. 
Yes, he's, give us a spin. Look at this spinning, spin. dude. Okay. He's spinning. Uh, I actually saw Cam wearing those the other day, and I was like, damn, it, you had a sick fit going. Um, did, I've right? already <laughs> taken my pants off. I think so. <laughs> I think that's true. Um, anyway, so the fit, the pants, I'm going to have to get the whole outfit, man. And Olivia's cardigan. Yeah, I like, love that color on you. Oh, oh thank let you. me check, look the up the cardigan. Cardi. The t shirt, mm -hmm. the skirt. Oh, this one. The whole outfit. I love it. Nice. So here's the car the uh, check zip cardigan. Wow. Oh, that's a nice texture. Yeah, for real. That is a lovely color. The TF team is really on their shit. The um, color of the, the color of <laughs> uh, we got those. <laughs> we got what do we got? Some crazy ass Cosby to are we still calling them Cosby sweaters after everything I that's happened? I don't think so. I don't think you should. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know. That's what everyone always have called you, him. Have you heard about <laughs> Bill Cosby? Yeah, he did. Have you been? Stuff. Have you heard what he's been up to? Well, that's why I asked. Well, I just thought maybe you had. Maybe no, you just I, missed that news. No, I, no, I heard about it. Um, <laughs> this vest is awesome. I yeah. mean, what the fuck? You what seriously? The fuck? What the shit, you guys? But what are we calling it now? Because that when I was growing up, it was Cosby. Uh, that's true. I, I think we vest. need to... a silly sweater. A vest? Sweater vest. No, I, I see what you mean. There is a... We have a, um, like a cultural gap now because we've sort of tossed <clears throat> him into the dustbin of history, if you will. Hmm, perhaps it's not maybe, a sweater vest. Something like yeah, that. You would, like, without a second thought, you'd be like, oh, that's like a Cosby sweater. Yeah. Or well, uh, maybe Ethan understand. Klein vest now that you discover this gap. I mean, do you really want to step into the Bill Cosby shoes? No, because you know what I mean? Maybe that's what, <laughs> maybe that's what drove him to do it. I know it. what you mean. <laughs> right. yeah. It's the sweaters. It's the sweater, dude. It could be, it's like 90s, it's like vintage kind of 90s. He certainly wasn't the only person, but he definitely like popularized it, I guess. Yeah, like an 80s sweater. Yeah. 80s pattern 80s, sweater. 80s sweater. So we got these awesome socks. We got these dresses that um, I know Elo's been feeling. Cute. They're super cool. They got bows on the bottom. Here, let's take a look killing and slaying in this black dress mm -hmm. thank swag. you swag swag um button up tee women's bouquet come on how who wants to be totally adorbs <laughs> you're everyone's gonna be commenting on well, girl where did you get that shirt uh long sleeve butterflies more of this, more of that. Oh, this is a fun shirt. I love this shirt. What do you guys think? I, I gotta, think it's nice. I gotta get one of these. I like these ones. Yeah, yeah. that's like kind a, of the same vibe as mm -hmm. the other one. Yeah. It, it may have been the same artist. Fun. I don't know. I love those. Fun. <clears throat> this was a restock, the fruity long sleeve. Everybody was loving that one, I remember. Tank top, skirt. Go check it all out, guys. It's all happening right now. TeddyFresh.com. Lace applique bear sweater. Oh, that's sick. I got that one, too. Oh, hell yeah. Oh, that's so nice. Nice. So there it is. Thank you guys for your support, and um, appreciate it. Thank you to the TF team. Yeah, so, okay, we went to war. War. We, start, we took on, on um, Wednesday... Before the debate, we talked at length about the snark subreddit, which is um, just a, a toxic, horrific, hateful place. You can continue with the music. It, it's a vibe, even though I'm not going to call it a war, but it is. I do like the atmosphere. I like the I like to hear the drum beat. Everyone knows that the war drum increases um, strength by two. Mm -hmm. <coughs> Don't it's a morale bonus, actually. It, big time, big yeah, time. It doesn't stack with other morale bonuses provided by, say, like a paladin. Thank the aura you. Aura or something like that. Yeah. Right, exactly. Um, <coughs> so, we talked about some of the horrific stuff that they had done. They've harassed each and every one of us and caused um, just a hellish time came to a head for me when somebody posted there a fake post um that we were removing 
posts about Ramadan. And uh, it, it went viral on Twitter, and it became this whole thing. And so for me, I'm like, okay, well, it's fake. So now I, I expect everybody to at least just, you know, correct the record. Like, say retraction. You know, if, if you're out there sharing the story, you can, you can say, listen, that, that was fake, and erase the tweet. Rewind time. Seems reasonable. Now, <coughs> the snark need- page <coughs> and <coughs> some people who I were talking about still are refusing to remove it. They've said, <coughs> um, where is it? Where is the original one? Just to rejog. Delete the hateful tweet in question. I'll grab it one sec. Oh, so loud. That was Abby's really loud home. for some reason. <laughs> Abby's at home um, because um, there's a furniture thing happening. You'll be yeah. in later? Uh, it depends when it's delivered. Ah. Mm-hmm. God damn this cough. <laughs> Thank you. <clears throat> so, uh, the uh, just ordered a tapestry jacket. Thank you so much, Veronica. You're gonna love that thing, man. Really, you will. Let me stand up. I mean, really stand up. Fuck He's up. Sick, bro. Dude, feel that? Sheesh. Please clap. Please clap. That's nice. <coughs> okay, anyway. So. <coughs> Please clap. Snark. Oh, here it is. Thank you, guys. So this is the post in question that went viral on the Snark subreddit and then from there went viral on Twitter. Happy Ramadan to AB and the Muslim H3 fam. As you know, me, the, the, uh, Violently hateful uh, Ethan Jews. Klein, who hates all Muslims, including uh, two of my close, uh, two people very close to me. Uh, the moderators removed this post from feed, blah, blah, blah. Sorry, this post has been removed by Marat, uh, moderators. So they say, you can't prove to us that this is fake, which is somewhat true. I mean, it's, it's obvious to anybody who's operating in good faith that it was faked. It was made by an account with one post, a brand new poster, <laughs> with this only one post. <laughs> but like, if I guess it ta- should be said, like we can, we can technically <laughs> prove it, but in, it, it's hard to prove the lack of something's existence. The, the proof is that it, there is no record of it being removed in our mod log. So, <laughs> Outside of inviting a third party to come inspect our mod log, which I guess if it came to that, we could do. But yeah, like you said, uh, until now, you basically have to take our word for it that it's not there. Which, and so, like, if you're <clears throat> one of these Twitter people, if we're talking about like defamation, then you're right in terms of we haven't shown like 100% conclusive proof that it's fake. So that's what we're here to do today. That's right. We got it. We got more, baby. We are coming, and we are coming in waves. We are coming, <laughs> and we are coming in waves. Now check this out. Um, let me pull up the right one here. Reverse engineered by this amazing guy. I want to say big shout out. He's a longtime fan, and he's always making really valuable contributions to the community. He's a Greek dude, Antona, Antona, Antonaros. Antonaros. Love him. Anto- he's cool, right? Yeah. He's the oh, man. Yeah. So check this out. And and Mika, Misha, whoever you are, you, 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 you piece, of, you asshole on Twitter. <laughs> you asked for proof, so here it is, okay? All right. This uh, Antonio and Ant- uh, reverse engineered how the Snarkers Ramadan post was faked. Even though Ethan and the crew said the post was faked and they could find no record of it, I'm sure many people could claim that they are just lying. True, and fair enough. Well, I'm here to shut that BS down and prove that it was 100% faked. We love you, King. 
Here's the image exactly as it was posted on the snark page. <coughs> as I described. First of all, there are services that can recover deleted posts from anywhere on Reddit, and searching for a post titled Happy Ramadan to AB and Muslim H3 Fam yields no results. I guess one could argue that the service didn't scrape the post quick enough uh, before it got removed, so let's ignore that. And also, fair. Then he noticed, in the screenshot, the post had the podcast tag. And lucky for us, a few pixels from the hidden username are still visible. I went to every removed post tagged with the podcast from the last few days until I found this one. Can you believe it? Here was a removed post. Have Sam Cedar on instead of a snarker. <laughs> we were jo we were joking about this on the members live. We were joking about having one of these people on to like debate or have a conversation or whatever. And they go, "No, we will not debate you, Ethan. You, we want you to debate Sam Cedar." I was like, "About snark." Sam Cedars is going to come debate me about if it's okay to harass people's family members? Whoa, what a fucking nightmare! <laughs> Damn, okay. But I think uh, their point being is that the whole thing has turned in, uh, I think it's turned a lot into um, some kind of Twitter activism. Gone... Gone, uh... Gone sexual. Uh, to use the YouTube parlance. Uh, so... Here's this image that we found from a real post. <coughs> Notice that the upvote count is exactly the same. The comment, the comment number is different, but that could be explained by people arguing in the comments after it got removed, or simply the snarker changed it for whatever reason. So here it was 14, and this one it's 52. However, overlaying this post on top of the other, we can clearly see that the few visible pixels of the username are perfectly lining up. To feast it's your 14. eyes. So here is, I mean, what do you want? What do you want? Right? It's pretty funny that they left a little bit of their username showing. What a, a little more thorough with the scribbling. <coughs> what a fucking idiot. Oops. So there you go. People say, oh, who cares that it's just a one day old account? Um, people say you haven't proven it. Well, here it is. A clear evidence that proved this person ripped this post off and just changed the source code. It proved it. And, and again, we, we thought it was odd that they blurred out the character name, and now we see why. It was really even a super low effort. Like, I don't think less effort could have gone into this for all you fucking morons and pathetic losers to buy into it. And y'all think, like, you think you can follow current events and give your... Your opinion on them after you got suckered into this you should go hide in shame actually you know what was pointed out to me that i i didn't even realize at first is that because the account's age because it was like a day old throwaway account oh wait actually because they said they didn't the main account was the one that originally made the post so never right. mind <laughs> so i'll say this to um everyone who's holding out that uh, i'm lying so I, I'm, I want to give everybody, uh, specifically, I want to give Misha the opportunity to, um, now that she's seen proof. Delete the hateful tweet. To delete question. the hateful tweets in question and to issue an, a, a, a retraction. You don't even have to apologize. You know what I mean? Just tell your, just tell your followers. If you want to apologize, I'll, I'll listen. Delete. I might, I'll even forgive you, girl. I understand tensions are high. But, all I want from you is a retraction and to erase the tweets. That's it. And then we won't have a problem. If that doesn't happen, then we will have a problem. I think that's pretty reasonable. And that's all I have to say about that. Oh, about her specifically. I have a lot more to say. So it turns out there's something else about this user <coughs> that I think might be of interest to snarkers and Twitter users alike. So not only did we find out that this post was faked, we actually found out that this user had posted one other thing a few days before this. What was that thing? We got him. The Snarker's profile history through the service that saves deleted posts 
Their only post, other than the fake one, was a week ago on the subreddit Ask Gay Bros, with a attempt to say that they hooked up with A B. We got him. Um, <laughs> I hooked up with A B from the H3 podcast. <laughs> Two years ago, I hooked up with AB. I found him on Tinder. At the time, I didn't know H3 or who AB was. It happened one night, and I forgot about it. Recently, I saw him on YouTube on the H3 podcast, and I remembered him from that night. I find it funny and crazy that I had an encounter with someone on YouTube. Sharing from a throwaway because I have some personal info on my main account, I'm sure. Uh, AB, you've been accused. <laughs> I'm gay. <laughs> Somehow, by some cosmic coincidence, this... This dude that you had a secret um, gay relationship with um, was also the one that we were moderated out of existence. Uh, uh, it was a shame that that all happened. Your thoughts, A.B.? It's, it's wild. I don't know. Maybe after we, uh, we hooked up, I converted him to Islam, being he's so <coughs> passionate about it now. That he's posting. That seems reasonable, yeah. and I, I think actually it's all true. I'm gay. 15% chance it's true. <laughs> That's true. Yeah, Depends it, on the day. That's how it works. Yeah. No, I'm it is, feeling gay well. today. I, I love I love it. <laughs> I have a secret gay Tinder. There's no other details, just that we hooked up two years ago. Lovely. Yeah. Clearly, Actually, it's, clearly it's because they know where I come from, and they're trying to cause trouble with uh, me and my family or whatever, or my hometown. But, uh, yeah. Wow. Yeah, you, you come from a concert or where there is a lot of conservative people. Yeah, they probably would not uh, love. They would not take kindly to such things. Mm -hmm. <coughs> and what I'm interested in about this person is they seem to have some kind of obsession with fucking with you. Obviously, from this, but but the Ramadan thing also put you in the crosshairs because you were getting things like, um, why uh, when people thought it was real. They're like, how dare you not stand up for our people and stuff, like pitting us against each other. And yeah. uh, it, it, whoever's doing this, for some reason, has decided, I feel, to target you and to try to cause friction between us. Well, I think because at the moment, uh, they, because they want to go after you, I kind of get in the way of that because I'm clear proof that, you know, <laughs> you don't have anything against Arabs. You know, you hired me and my wife, uh, Brought us all the way out here, and you know it's at the time they they're they're using me basically. I'm convenient for them to use, but when they can't use me, whenever I defend you, that pisses them off. So they kind of go the opposite way. Isn't it crazy how cynical? It's so fucking gross and cynical that these people come together and they act like they're activists, like they care about anything. But look how they all rally around like just literal hate, exploiting you and your identity to lie, to buy a designed lie. It's just, it's so cynical. How, how can this community, like, this is just shameful shit, dude. A big lie. Yeah, and th they'll never be satisfied. There'll always be another lie or something. They were saying that I lied about <coughs> uh, there being a Zionist article in the front page of my newspaper in college that I got removed. I actually found the article. Oh, uh, yeah, right. fuck. Right here. <laughs> Not all fears are phobias. That's what it says. And this is all justifying Islamophobia. This is from 2011. It's in the, uh, the Michigan University of Michigan Journal. Yeah, Michigan Journal. Why right would there. they call you out for yeah, that? Yeah, why would they? That's say such it? an easily I provable know. thing. Like, that's crazy. I, I, they're, dude, they're. I mean, Stupid, why would they say dude. that I hooked up with a dude two years ago? You know what I mean? It's just yeah. yeah. They're well, we established that one might be true. Right, fifteen percent. Also. I, I keep saying too that uh, they think I'm Palestinian. I'm not Palestinian. I'm I'm Lebanese, but uh, I just find it funny. Like they're just like I don't believe there's a big difference to them. No, there's not. They're just like shame on him. He's Palestinian. And then when I you know when I do wear the scarf or I do speak up for, they say, oh, his dad must have talked to him about it. His his he must not be able to return home. <laughs> Yikes. That's yeah. Oh God. There's like I'm sorry, Ab. <laughs> The way, the, how much they think about it and they build like this whole mythos. They're like Tolkien with the world building they do in their head. <laughs> it's yeah. the, the misplaced like outrage. It's like what is happening is horrific and urgent in the world. And like why would you put any uh, like negative attention towards 
like an associate a producer yeah, of a podcast, a, 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 Muslim. a Muslim podcast producer <laughs> who's clearly like struggling. Yeah, the, and leave it, leave it alone. Yeah, uh, actually, because they Thanks, don't queen. care at all. Thank you, Queen. They they literally don't care at all. It's just another opportunity for them to like come at us. It's yeah. really a sick yeah. thing. Yeah, mm -hmm. and yeah. so <coughs> come get it. I'm sorry, um, AB, that you've had to deal with this. It's really fucked up. But there has been some good developments in the snark world. Um, I don't I don't know if what Reddit's done. I'll say this. You guys might get a kick out of this. We've been talking about how Reddit is such a fucked up, hypocritic, loser shithole, and they're protecting this, like... Need I say any more about this community? Right. Um, we got a warning. Reddit came and warned us. You like them apples? They go... We got two of them, right? Uh, no, it was just one. Hello. There was a follow-up message that was just, uh, cause we, we were very polite in our response and we just said, we will, we are happy to take all steps necessary to accommodate your rules. And could you please provide us with some advice on how we can better do that? And their reply was just that advice. So it would very much was a warning. It, it like, we weren't in any real trouble, but it's still nice yeah. to know that they care. <laughs> right. Hello everyone, we're reaching out today as your community has violated Rule 3. Rule 3 states that your community should not be used to direct, coordinate, or encourage interference in other communities and or target Redditors for harassment. <laughs> Dude, that is insane. It's that like is verbatim like, what the snark That's their Reddit mission is. statement. Yeah, exactly. Insane. <laughs> so, okay. Fair enough. We... I mean, the reality is it's a, it's a, it's a subreddit, you know, and despite what they may think, anybody can post whatever. There, there may have been some rule violating stuff. We do our best to remove it. Uh, what there rules? was one post in particular that we speculated it would be about. It was removed in under an hour. It was in 45 minutes, which, I mean, that's really I feel good. like that's a reasonable amount of time to, to bounce a post. You know what I mean? Um, <coughs> where, Absolutely. Our and, it, yeah. and all it was was screenshots from their subreddit, but it wasn't censored. It showed the usernames on there, and that, that is technically against the rules. We did remove it for that reason. Not fast enough, I guess. Our mod team is great, and ours is really good. They've been very helpful through. But all okay, of thank you for the heads up, Reddit. I'm glad that uh, they're like, you know, who's really fucking up in this situation? <laughs> the H3 guys. Right. We got to talk to them. But there was an interesting twist. First, we noticed that this person uh, was unmodded. I found we found this post. Um, H3 Snark update. Hello, everyone. I was a mod on H3 Snark and have been removed without warning. Oh my God. You get to go fuck, go get a job now? <laughs> after, I mean, listen, they go, after spending time moderating the sub after the brigading, like, like whoever you are, this was a good, this is a good twist of fortune for you. <laughs> right. It's time to move on. Take it as a sign, absolutely. Is this a sign of, of a schism of some kind within, a great within, song. within the cabal? <laughs> it absolutely is. They said, not exactly sure what's happening with that sub, but I guess this may be the new discussion sub. So, okay, whatever. Yeah, they, okay, fair enough. <clears throat> um, but what has happened now is the subreddit went private. Prison for, uh, they say, what's, this community is private and only approved members can view and partake. Um, yeah. So I'm not sure what is happening or why. I don't think it's been shut down by Reddit, as this is their darling subreddit, and they believe that uh, harassing so, us and our extended family is a is a part of their mission statement. <laughs> well, I'm just purely speculating here. I suspect that when we got that message, they may have simultaneously gotten a message, and maybe theirs, maybe a little bit stern. Where ours was a slap on the wrist, theirs may have been sterner, um, and this may be a step to prevent it from getting shut down completely. I think that anything beyond shutting down is a disgrace. Just, just straight up turning it off <clears throat> is a is a fucking joke. I have noticed that that does seem to be Reddit sort of a. Uh, operating procedure with these things is to give the sub opportunities to clean up their act before they move in unless it's just like straight cp that's being post posted on there or something obviously but i don't like, know they gave when it's Gale like these controversial nice communities they they usually i remember when the donald was getting banned the, the although who knows how truthful those mods were but they kept saying that the admins were 
working with them on ways to keep the sub, but then eventually they did <coughs> shut it down. So we'll see. Well, we'll see. Uh, yeah, we'll see. Um, like I, I always love to talk about how Reddit left uh, jailbait up for so long. Yeah, until I got some media attention. Incredible. Which usually, that is the way it goes. They don't really do anything unless they're they're getting heat. Um, but here, this is actually a funny little meme post uh, for our enjoyment. Irrefutable proof that the snark is right. Taboo topics are being silenced and censored. Conclusive evidence that Ethan farted in Denny's. Come on, that's disgusting. That is and an that is a defamatory lie. Mm. So that is thirty three million upvotes. Thirty three. I think it's actually far more than that. The T at the end, does that represent trillion? Oh my um, god, that's a huge number. So is that... Oh, wow. And hold my fart like a bong <sighs> Hold on. So I think that's 33 billion trillion okay. upvotes. That yeah. does not make sense. There's I, something fishy about that number. What doesn't make sense is you still denying ripping ass in Denny's, dude. Yeah, Bro, everyone, everyone in the, the whole world... Oh, yeah. fucking, like, everyone in the whole world millions of times over. <laughs> Well, I'll, listen, Sam, if you're watching and you want to come debate me about H3 Snark subreddit, <laughs> I guess if you're, if you want to elect yourself as their seat. fig, they've elected you as their figurehead, so <laughs> I come to you, my friend. Oh, they also suggested Hassan, who I'm sure- I'm sure he would proud. love to come chat with you about a uh, uh, drama reddit. Mm-hmm. Yeah, yeah, that'd be cool. <clears throat> so- this was the development, and I'm very glad and grateful that we we're able to show uh, irrefutable proof, not that I farted in Denny's, but that it's fake. So, Misha, thank you for the retraction that's forthcoming. Basically, and then, irrefutable evidence. And then we won't have any problems. We'll be, as they call it, dogs. <laughs> uh, this was one more post, uh, then we'll get into the, uh, the love story. Oh, I need to tell you my Wendy's order. I never had a Baconator. Is that good? <laughs> uh, what do you guys a, recommend? I'm not a, like a. I'm not a Wendy's. I would go for the the Dave's double or Dave's triple. Dave's triple. Are you a fan of baked potatoes? I. You know what? Baked potatoes is one of those foods that I just. I don't oh, get it. Come on. Oh, yeah, they're so good. They're I mean, I get it, but I'm so, so good. Like, that's like what you do at home when you just don't care about anything. I get it. <laughs> you just yeah. like, put it in the oven. Vibes. You know, the, their chili's good with the finger in it. That's, that's good too. Right. Yeah. Can I use your finger? <laughs> yeah. I think the Baconator's a classic. I've never had it, but I, other people like it. Yeah, everybody's talking about the Baconator. Mm -hmm. For real? Yeah. Best sandwich. I ordered a loaded nacho double cheeseburger without cheese. <laughs> loaded nachos? Cheeseburger. Without cheese. What's Wait, the point on. of the nachos then? Yeah. Well, it's just a crispy. It's just crispy. Yeah. I get that. What the fuck? Hold on, let me look at their let me look at their website. Wendy's. They also had some good shaker burgers. <laughs> oh god. Fucking Wait, I just realized all this food's gonna come during the <laughs> the Bachelor segment. <laughs> <That'd> be awkward. <coughs> Let's see. Let's view their menu. Hopefully they have pictures. Yeah. All right. Let's get a combo. We love combos here. Pretzel bacon or not? Nah. Baconator? That looks like... I don't know. That looks like a whole situation. The big bacon classic comp. Lo Let me see what the. Bro, you order the craziest shit. I love that about you. What is this monstrosity? Gee, that looks good, right? <laughs> no. What do you mean? <laughs> <laughs> it's oh a my lot. God, love. You got the, That's fine. the bacon loaded cheeseburger. I'm not going to yuck your yum. Dude, what shit looks bussin'? <laughs> you think the ghost pepper ranch chicken sandwich is actually spicy or is it just mm. a bullshit? It's probably a little bit spicy. I, that bullshit. was my second option. It looked real <laughs> yummy. I'll get the Dave's. I, I, I Okay, here's what I want to do. Le uh, who's writing the Sam or Lena? I, I got you. All right, get me the Dave's combo. I'm sorry, Dave. With okay. the sodi, with the diet sodi, whatever Dave. they got. You just want small, medium, large. You want double, triple. Nah, just a regular. All right. Dave. I'm not trying to. I got kids. What kind of <laughs> what kind of sodi did you? Do? If they got any kind of diet, anything, I'll take it. 
root beer. I like root beer. Diet root beer is my shit right now. Big up. So good. You know, their lemonade is so good. For real. They have the best lemonade, like, ever. Like Beer Center? Well, um, and then also get me separately by itself a Baconator. A Baconator. <laughs> I don't know why I said it like that. Because right. I want to try it. You got it. And then we can romantically, after I take a bite, we'll split it between Jeff and Morgan. <laughs> and they can eat lunch with us. Sounds beautiful. All right, so, uh, thank you guys. So this is my final point. I've talked a bit about how just there's... A real uh, clear thread of anti-Semitism going on in that subreddit as well. <clears throat> and somebody compiled, really with that, not a lot of effort, a whole bunch of the really fucked up things that is in that subreddit, uh, anti-Semitic wise. So let's take a look here. This one says she looks like she's about to cast her one of her Zionist spells about Ela, which is, you know, okay. That's fine. Um, I hate the narrative that citizens are considered innocent civilians in Israel when they are not. Uh, literally all Israeli civilians that have to join end up being extremely vile. It is truly a sick and infected society. You know, she's talking about Ela's mandatory service in Israel. Um, and, and basically, this is, was my problem with that guy. Um, second thought. He said that basically anyone in Israel, regardless of who they are, age, place of birth, because let's remember, Ela was born in Israel. Her parents were born in Israel. Um, that they're somehow uh, worthy of being slaughtered. I, oh, and the title, let's not forget, is Ethan and Ela are evil. <laughs> yep. Um What's the logic that 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 we're evil f for not being willing to just let someone kill us? Okay. <clears throat> um. <clears throat> also, that cute, sexy little soldier man in front of her neo-Nazi username, looking distinctly blonde-haired and blue-eyed for a country of people that are quote native to the region of Palestine, looking very Aryan again. Uh, irony alert, Ela is like 90% Middle Eastern and 10% Italian, which isn't even Ashkenazi, I don't think. Ashkenazi is like East European Russian, I think. <coughs> um, no, it's an even more oppressed minority. The most oppressed minority. The Italian Jews? Italians. Just Italians <laughs> in general. The Italianophobia. <laughs> It's off the charts, man. Bro. Calophobia is I off I couldn't the live like that. <laughs> yeah, Ela is almost entirely um, Middle Eastern. Her family comes from Syria, Libya, and they left those countries by uh, during the pogroms. They were forced out uh, uh, during times of discrimination. And Ela's parents were born in Israel. Um, 60% of the inhabitants of, of Israel are Middle Eastern. There are what's called uh, Sephardic Jews, which Sephardic means essentially Middle Eastern. There are a lot of Ashkenazi Jews there, of course, about 40% of them, which would be considered European. But the majority of Jews there are actually Middle Eastern, and I, I think it's just absurd, this narrative that, like, I, I find the whole blood and land uh, argument kind of silly anyway, only because the countries, it exists there. So, like, I think from a school, from like a place of, you know, understanding history and stuff, I think it's a, a, a good conversation. When you're talking about, like, um, what are we doing right now? I mean, there's a country with 7 million people there that exists, and, like, you kind of just have to do, accept that fact. Uh, uh, but no, they're not, they're not, uh, they're, she is not European pretty much at all. Um, brother, if it look, this person continued, uh, they says about me and Ela and, and all Israelis, if it looks like a Nazi and talks like a Nazi and supports war crimes committed by Nazis, like shock troopers, it's a Nazi. Um, that was another one. 
<coughs> these are the kind of conversations happening. To be fair, um, it could be her way of coping and growing up in a war zone. She grew up in a time where suicide bombings were prevalent and things were very scary on all sides. <coughs> oh, was it, there was something... Oh, this is one of their users saying this sub is guilty of anti-Semitism all the time. Yep. I mean, again, not to get into all this again, but there, there's just like a real callousness for... And like, imagine you're born somewhere without any choice of your own. Your parents were born there. And people are telling you to go back to Europe, go back to your home. Which home? The one that they were kicked out, that they had to leave like 100 years before? Uh, they're not even European. So, like, what the fuck? And then, and then Ela grew up at a time when... It wasn't safe to go to a mall. It wasn't safe to go to a cafe. It wasn't safe to get on a bus. And again, we're not talking about right and wrong, because what Israel's doing is wrong right now. Israel is killing a ton of civilians, and it's horrible, and it's wrong. But what I do think is important is to consider that is Israelis are not, and especially my wife, because I know her very well, and I can tell you, and myself, are not like cartoon evil people. You know what I mean? Like uh, when you when you reduce Israelis to some cartoonish evil like that, then you you only push you only push them further away because of course they're going to get defensive. Again, they were born there, their parents were born there, and people are telling them to go back home colonizers. Like go back to where exactly? Um anyway, but the Ashkenazis certainly should get back to Russia, where they are, will be welcomed. Uh, and then this was really funny, because on one hand they go, um, Ela is a white colonizer. But then look at this one, they go, I find it ironic how much aggression they have for Arabs when Ela's ancestry looks like this. Oh, so she's an Arab. So Ela's an Arab, according to this person. And she's betraying her own people. According to the other person, she's a white colonizer, and she's amongst uh, people that have not, you know, not her people. It's crazy. And, and somehow both of these attitudes are living together in the same place. This comment was very nice. They probably swapped the blood from her, swabbed the blood from her hands from her IDF days and accidentally sent that N, uh, DNA in for testing. Very good. Very good. Uh... That's sure. I'm sure that's what happened. Honestly, it's white people thinking they have a uh, minority coin because they're Jewish. <coughs> Once again, one of my favorite <coughs> things about being Jewish is that I fit so perfectly and beautifully into any conspiracy theory you have. If you ask a white supremacist if I'm white, they'll say, fuck no, that dirty Jewish rat is nothing but white. Anything but white. We ask, um, <coughs> if you ask a Twitter activist, if Jews are white, they'll say they're the whitest motherfuckers a lot. Nobody was been whiter, actually. Nobody. They're the whitest people alive. Um, so, so like, if, if you have, a, if either side of the shoehorn of spectrum of belief can perfectly uh, fit us into their uh, conspiracy theory. Um, yeah, so that was fun. I love all this stuff. Eth Ethan picks and chooses when he wants to be white and when he wants to be Jewish. So he can claim someone is being anti-Semitic to him. Boo-hoo, go cry about it, Ethan. Someone also said, well, where was the comment about you? Is that here? The one it's about the next, next oh, it's slide. the next one? This, oh, yeah. And then, again, these fine people continue to go after AB, who is an actual activist for Palestinians. Actually, I know this sounds crazy, but doing just angrily tweeting at people you don't like, um, I don't believe would fall under the category of activism. Although, what AB has done, I don't think is debatable, really. Um, I think you're an activist. Thanks. Yeah, I'd argue that. <laughs> My favorite thing about AB is how he claims his Arab side when convenient, but also loves to remind people of how, quote, white passing he is. That's fucking nuts. 
As a fellow mixed person, I can't stand when other mixed people love to talk about how white passing they are. That that's bro, that's sick. That's like demented. Forty eight okay. likes, by the way. I put on my uh my my Arab outfit for this one. Nice. Uh so yeah. <laughs> no, but it, 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 it's it's funny because literally the only time I ever bring it up is like when I, I said it yesterday on the member <coughs> street, but like I'm trying to give credit. I, I don't feel like it's right for me to say that I go through the struggles that someone else goes through that looks Middle Eastern. Like I don't look Middle Eastern. I look white. So I, I'm trying to give them credit because it's not fair to me because I definitely have an advantage with certain things because I am white passing. That's the only time I ever bring it up. Acknowledging your privilege is really important. Actually, <laughs> a lot of people would argue. Yeah. These people, especially these types of like like yeah. Twitter activists, that's like one of their favorite things to to um, <coughs> yeah, attack you, people for. If you want to have a progressive conversation, <coughs> acknowledging your privilege is very important before you give your point. And I think that they're not having productive conversations. Yeah, I mean, the way that they attribute everything in the most like fucked up, sinister, cynical way. Mm -hmm. um, yeah, so you're, and then this is what happens. They start talking about it, and because now this community has somehow become, people are just so eager to fucking uh, hate me because I'm such a uh, vir virile uh, Zionist. I've become like the quintessential enemy of like um, the the online activists. I'm somehow the worst that the world has to offer. So whatever they say about us on this deranged subreddit is now making it onto Twitter as gospel for example this characterization as ab just walking around being like hey i'm so awesome i'm white passing man it sucked to be, not be white passing like me i love it it's the best and then this person responds again 50 likes 21 likes no critical uh, analysis oh my god he said that people like that never realize white people can sniff them out from a mile away and will never accept them as one of their own it's like, bro, y'all are writing f straight up world building novels, dude. Ra so, oh, what's the guy who wrote Dune? That guy's a, that guy's nothing. Frank Curtis Herbert. Nark. Yeah, no, he's and he's a hack. So <coughs> far from the truth. Like when I was a kid, because all my cousins, you know, they're they're fully Middle Eastern, and they would tease me for being half white, and I was like so desperate to try to fit in with them. Like it got to the point where like my dad even had to talk to his sister, my aunt, and say like, "Stop making comments about him being half white. Like he's a kid. Why? Why are you always pointing that out?" Even your it aunt? Was, yeah. That's crazy. Yeah, yeah. No, it was. It drove me insane when I was a kid. I mean, now, you know, I'm I'm happy that I'm mixed, but when I was younger, I hated it. It's funny that though that they go, "Oh, it's such a oh." He, he just loves that he's better than us or something. And like your whole childhood, you're being like bullied and excluded and made to feel like shit, like you don't belong. And then at mm -hmm. the same time, they're telling you like, uh, oh, you love it, don't you? <coughs> There's more. Isn't a, oh, go ahead. No, I was gonna say, I was, I was heartbroken when we did those uh, ancestry results and I found out that I was so white. It, it really fucked me up. Wait, how white were you? I don't remember. <laughs> It was slightly over 50%. Well, it's got to be 50% though, because your dad is there. <laughs> well, you got to be brother, right. Yeah, my brother in law was saying that like 15% <laughs> of it was probably when, like, uh, I forget what he said, but like when Lebanon and the French, some kind of something going on there. Oh, shit. So, so they he snuck said it maybe actually more. Yeah. They snuck in some white DNA. So you are actually. Oh, no, you're not part French, are you? I forget what it was. Oh, no. Wait, that means you're majority white. <laughs> Don't tell Snark. <laughs> oh right. no, French. <laughs> and this isn't just one post. This is from it's a different thread. White. It's one of the worst whites. Isn't A B Muslim? Yeah, when it's convenient for him to be. He gives off Muslim by culture vibes. Baker. Mm hmm. And then, like, what is this conversation on Snark? Like, these people are just like a group of like. Devout uh, Muslims who have come together on snark to talk about like like these these guys, I know that these are like white people probably being oh, like for sure for sure oh 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 he's only Muslim by culture it's like you're probably like some dumb fucking white loser that's not Muslim doesn't know anything about Islam it's like what do you what do you know about anything you loser. Um, I mean it's kind of solidified by his behavior they continue the dude literally never brings up Islam. 
uh, disregards the Quran consistently, but has mm -hmm. the identity locked and loaded if anyone ever calls him out for any reason whatsoever. It's the exact same shit Ethan Ela pulled to defend themselves from backlash when they're saying or condoning hateful shit. Yeah. Oh, and Lena, I'm sorry, but this is fucking insane. What, what it turned into like conservative, um, what the fuck is this comment? Look, pretty sure what Lena wears isn't appropriate to their culture either. Lol, but don't worry, she covers up and prays sometimes. Jeez. What the fuck? Yeah, we just I got transported into like a conservative mosque? <laughs> it's not the first time I heard it. It doesn't bother me. It's it bothers me. Leave Lena alone. <laughs> right. But I just, I don't know how all these Get people come together. Yeah. <laughs> Leave her alone. Get a job. Thanks to live. Absolutely. <laughs> I just, I don't know who these people are. They're like, they're white. They're like activists, Twitter activists, progressives, and also conservative Muslims at the same time. And they are um, also Jewish. They're uh, uh, born in Israel, I've seen. I like how um, Olivia explained it earlier that if they're really this passionate, why are they wasting their time just harassing others? They can be putting their efforts into something, you know, that would better their cause. Call your officials. What's better than saying that you need to cover your shoulders or something? <laughs> right. No, and I, I, I love that I'm, uh, I'm fasting now just to make a point. They're fucking dying every day. <laughs> Yeah. So my mouth is so goddamn dry. I have a headache every day because I'm fasting. I'm doing that just for, for shtick, though. Yeah. Just so that you have the card if you need to pull Right, it. right. Yeah. Um, it's, it's sick. These people are sick, and I hate that I have to talk about it. But like I said, it's come to a point where it's affecting me and my crew's um, uh, mental welfare. It's affecting my business. And so at a certain point, you can, you can look... Um, to the side uh, for so long until you need to address it before it, you know, eats you up. So that's what I'm doing with these people on Twitter, like Misha, who I hope will just retract and uh, delete, and uh, these, this subreddit, which is just absolutely deranged. And I don't, know, I don't know how it's possible Reddit hasn't just outright erased it. I'm glad they're on private, but I hope that Reddit uh, just fucking nukes the damn thing because it's a liability to them also. Um, thank you. Now, let's talk love. Let's ship gears. <laughs> um, I believe... Let's let the love in. Let the love into your heart. We were going to start this at 1.30, right? We... That was the plan. So, like, boom. Um, right let me... Um, give me one second to uh, make sure everything's lined up. In the meantime, uh, did you ever send your Wendy's order? Maybe you can think about it. I that. did. Oh, you did? Do you want to know what I ordered? I don't care. No. I'll tell you. I want to know. I appreciate the offer. I'm not... Let me go. Let me I go. I ordered a go. Dave's you can tell me. combo, tell me. Dan. With, and then I also got a Baconator on the side because I want to try it. He's acting like he didn't hear He me. said okay. It's still really What did you get, good. Olivia? I got um, a Dave's single burger and I got a chocolate Frosty. I like those Frosties. Yeah, I like them too. Okay, we are... <gasps> Oh my god. So where are they let's let's bring them out before we watch the date. <coughs> so my friends, today is a seminal moment. This is the furthest we have ever come in this show's history. In fact, I don't believe that any online show has come this close to finding love. Ever. And we're joined today by the lovely uh, Morgan and Jeff, who had a wonderful date together, an Echo Park swan boat ride of romance. So here they come. Hi. Wow, wow. Yes, please. What's up, dude? How you been? You good? I'm all right. You recovering? Good. Does this help? 
We can. Hello? Oh my God, uh, Morgan! It's nice to meet you. Nice to meet you too. Thank you for coming. Yeah, this is so neat. This is I, crazy. <laughs> I heard you guys had a wonderful time. <laughs> I heard you guys had a really lovely uh, evening. Yeah, we did. Unbelievable. Yeah, it was perfect. Yeah, it never felt like uh, awkward. It just like it kept flowing. Mm -hmm. You know, we were even just having another date right now out yeah. there, and then yeah. you called us, and I was like, oh fuck, I guess we got to go do the show now. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Look at this guy. He's charming, isn't he? He is charming, yeah. yeah. <laughs> he did a good job out there, right? Yes, yeah. he did, he did. So before we um, continue, we, as you guys know, we f we filmed it. We've edited it together. So <laughs> so we're all going to watch the date. I heard there was, there was a screw up big time. Technical difficulties on your uh, team, which is actually uh -oh. good for me because I feel like uh, my team is the only one that fucks things up. So it was nice to hear that the best team on YouTube also makes mistakes. Well, um, I hate to break it to you, but... Ian, did we have big mistakes? I don't think so. Well, Jeff, I don't, I didn't want to get into this. <laughs> <laughs> I didn't know anything I was like, I it. didn't hear about this. <laughs> <But> <laughs> I didn't tell you because I, I don't want to worry you with these Wait, things. Did you drop yes. one of our Listen. cameras in the lake? What happened? I'm not worried. Oh. Well, we had, a, we had a GoPro set up in the swan boat that I gave to Jeff to tape to the boat. Oh, you and did drop somehow, a camera in the lake. Somehow it got switched to time lapse. Oh, so I fucked uh, it up. Blew it. I he didn't blew want to it. say that. I... <laughs> oh my! You know what? <laughs> <laughs> Those buttons are so little, man. So there's just like a really fast video of us yes. on the boat. Well, that's hilarious. We weren't able to use it, but um, <laughs> we were able to use what we got, so it's all good. <laughs> so we're missing a shot. I'm not going to blame you. A crane yeah. fucking yeah. smashed Those, right in his head. Thank you. Yeah, I mean, it's, just, it's a little. I, I what are you going to do? I fully just blame GoPro. Yeah, I fucking yeah. hate yes, GoPros. I'm, I'm I've been on a crusade. Yeah. NBC's GoPros not using GoPros. For a decade now. It's you know, once again they fucked this? up. Who it's uses not, GoPro? It's nobody's fault. It's nobody's fault. <laughs> it's GoPro's fault. I will say that there is some shots where I like readjust the camera in the back of the boat, and it, you know, it's a little shaky, but I cut, try to cut around that. As much so as the shot that we lost was basically a shot of you guys together. Yeah, it was like oh, well, that seems close up one. of us. It, it, it's kind of just yeah. like shoulders, though. That seems like a nice one. It sucks. Yeah, it, nice. it would have been nice. It, it, it would have been nice, nice to have. But listen, I was doing a lot. I was trying to steer the boat. Keep. She was doing a great job. I just, didn't do like, anything. Keeping me entertained, He's... and I was trying to steer the boat so we could be in frame. And oh, you know, it's a lot. You're doing a TV show, but I'm also looking for love. You're the bad down man. to three. It's not so an easy job. It's not a joke anymore. Yeah. I will say yeah. Jeff was very good at if if our boats got too far away, the audio would start to get messed up. He was very aware. I could tell he was trying to keep track of where the camera was, being charming. He was very, very <laughs> professional. Thank you. I appreciate that. Well, with all that being said, let's take a look at this lovely date scared with morgan and Jeff. i'm just as scared as you are <laughs> and i've done this show probably 13 times by now yeah i was just super yeah. nervous well <laughs> the good news is that um I, there's no good news really is it <laughs> is uh, it's all good news yeah, it's no, I'm all kidding. Great I'm being, news. I'm being the silly. date was like an hour and a half it's all what, good. what is it edited it's like down 16 to 16 minutes Okay. Oh, wow. No, it, it was, three. it's magical. You guys have nothing oh. to worry about. It really I'm is. I'm so excited. This so, better not be a hit piece. I'll come flip that table over. Whittick. Like Mike did yesterday. <laughs> just a total, like, <laughs> can you talk about what happened yesterday? You yeah, I put it back it. up live. And everybody oh, was saying a whole big up. conspiracy. I left the whole fight in. Because it got what I, I was like, <laughs> I don't even think either one of them looked that bad, to be honest. Like, understand. I know, Ethan, but I, you know, like, I respect my friends' guests. Sure, of uh, you know, if they want something cut, I'll cut it. But it was already clipped and put on TikTok everywhere. So yeah. I was like, what's the point? If we cut this out, it's just going to make it look like we're hiding something. And, you know, I just ran the episode and it is what it is. It's it, it's out now, but watch it after. Watch is this. Right okay? now, this is the m more important thing. Yeah, there was a. Uh, did you uh, see all the. Are you? Did you follow all this, Morgan? He just showed it to me. Like, I told right her to stop, this. stop tuning into my <laughs> content because this is real life now. Yeah, you're not allowed to watch anymore. <laughs> We're prohibiting it. He's, he told me retroactively in the past, just now. Right. God. My my <laughs> wife listens. So. I mean, my my wife listens. Oh well, I guess we already we sealed the deal already. Is that part of the issue? Well, sorry, what? Well, my wife watches the show. Jeff of him? Not you. <laughs> oh. Oh, oh. Not that there's anything, but your show is terrific. She would. She watched She's watching our show. Oh, okay. 
My Ethan. question being, why why is it that you don't want her to watch? Well, oh, well, you're already married. So right. you guys, you met in real life. Right. You know, you knew each other before you did three hour long podcasts together. I go online and I talk about my feelings unscripted. The you don't want your girlfriend to do that shit. Sometimes it's a little exaggerated, you know? It would be a shame for your, <laughs> your future girlfriend to hear about your feelings. But what, I don't want her to know everything about me before I know anything about her. She'd yeah. be an yeah. even oh, greater it's on, equal. it's on equal. Yeah. Yeah, you haven't been in the dating game while you've been doing the podcast because no. you've been married, so. Yes. Yeah. Okay, interesting. And is there an embargo that will be eventually lifted? Yeah, eventually. Yeah. We'll Maybe she'll be in it. Maybe we'll host a podcast oh, together. Oh. A married podcast. <laughs> <laughs> Amazing. What a, what a, okay. Jorgen. So with all that being said, Ian, if you're ready, let us take a boat ride to destiny. Feeling good. She's looking hot. She, uh, cute. She's looking very pretty. I feel really good about this one. I haven't been on a first date in a long time, so this is very exciting for me. I feel the romance in the air. She's just so. Just she just looks like a good time, you know. And I'm gonna give her a good time. I'm super nervous to do a date in front of thousands of people. I've never done that before, but you know. I'm pretty charming, so I think it'll be okay. <laughs> I might not have that much time to give to her, but I'm gonna give as much as myself to her tonight as possible. Right. If all goes well out here, you know. Have you done swan boats? I've done swan boats. I've done swan boats with my parents. Have you ever been on a swan boat with another guy on a date? Uh, I have. Uh, okay, so I'm, I'm just gonna be honest, I have. It was years ago. I didn't know this was gonna happen. <laughs> you don't have to answer that. I think she's the one. I think this one's already in the bag, and I'm excited that this is the first one we're doing. Yo, my guy, is it cool if I take care of you and we don't have to do the vest? I'm a, a triathlete. I've done Ironman. If anything happens, I could protect her. I could carry her out on my back. I could swim three miles if I had to right now but we just don't want to wear the vest uh, 300 bucks. All right, thank you. You could put these other fucks in the vest, but just for us, yeah, we'll, we'll go no vest. Probably the last guy to skip safety protocols, but all right. Wow, this is so cool. I haven't been on a date in so long. We sort of met on Valentine's Day. That's when I first got to see yeah. you. Oh, and, that was an exciting day. Yeah, and I, I, uh, I saw your song and then your accent after you're just goofing around it was really funny i like that you, you i like that you don't take anything too serious certain things i do take seriously but most things are not worth fretting over yeah. you know are you religious no are no? you i know you grew up catholic yeah no i just figured i'd ask oh because God. i was in a relationship one time with a scientologist and i didn't know for six months because i never asked i'm in the motherfucking boat where the fuck am I gonna go? Fuck! Watch out, baby! Woo! Got hit in an accident! Woo! I just need to exchange your information. Insurance? I don't want to fuck with Tom Cruise. But... I feel like you could take him. He's kind of yeah, short, right? right? I like... love that you say that. Yeah, this is so what new to cards? me, but... Yeah, let's hear some questions. You want me to use those stupid cards? Yeah, there's some good stuff in there. The I'm so cards? glad Ethan isn't here. <laughs> Yeah, I'm glad that nobody's trying to sabotage this. What the fuck's going on? The dating scene, baby. Ooh. On the fucking boat, on the swan. All night long, all night, all night, all night long, all night. I'll, I'll ask some of you guys' fucking questions. The first question they have on their list is, do you like boats? Do I like boats? Yeah, do you like stuff like this? Oh, yeah. Swans are cool. Also, huh? do not feel pressured to use the cards if you don't want to. Swans are cool? Yeah. Swans are awesome. Who are like these? <laughs> Swans are pretty cool, right? They do shit on everything. But I, they're so 
such beautiful romantic creatures. Mm -hmm. The fable that when they die, they perform this like beautiful song. It's I love like that I can learn stuff from you. Yeah. Because every time I date a girl from LA, she's just like an airhead. You're like smart and, and clever and funny. Thank you. Don't know who I am. 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 Woo! Gabe! Don't fuck around. Woo! Who's fucking around? We're just getting started here. We're nervous. I don't need your I don't need any of your shit right now. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. I hope I'm not gonna hit you. There's no brakes in this thing. We have no safety vests on. Yeah. Watch it. I pal. can drown, Gabe. You know that there's a lot of dead bodies in this lake. People that have been murdered. They and would just dump, tossed they in would here. Dump them in here and like cement their feet. Do you think as their bodies decomposed, it would like you know like their arm would decompose and like float to the surface, or maybe they put them and in the a bag? Fish, the fish oh, the fish eat them. What it say? Made in Michigan? This must be a Michigan boat. Fuck! It's made in Michigan, baby. Woo! The Midwest, Michigan. Fucking snow. Fuck! I gotta be honest with you. <laughs> yeah. I ran over a homeless guy. Uh, today, on the way here. You're lying. You're, you you're lying. No, I, I did. You wouldn't be saying it like this. No, I would. How else would I say it? I just ran him over, and I was like, should I stop and go back and like check on him? And, you know, or should I just take off? And I just, I was like, I had to get to this date. This isn't true. I don't. I don't believe no, I you. Did. I, have I, I need proof. It's on video. Okay, show me the video. Yeah, I don't have it on me right now. I'm trying. It's actually with my camera guy, but. Yeah. Is that bad? I mean, if it's true, then yes, it's bad. Yeah. I just feel better that I could tell you the truth and just be completely honest with you about everything. Years ago, I did kill somebody, but that was totally by accident. That, we'll have to cut it, cut that out of the video. Do you but, own a gun? No. What about you? Um, yes, for protection. Yeah. I don't. I don't just bring it around and just shoot it off in parks and stuff. I just like keep it by my bed just in case anybody breaks in. Oh. Uh, lately with your podcast, you've been like, I want to try new things, like like forge new ground. I want to leave behind a legacy. Like I, I want to live, I want to get the most yeah. out of life. I watched this video, like I got all this home footage from my parents when I was a kid. And I was on Sweet. a track team, my dad was a track coach. I almost, I was like tearing up watching this footage because I heard the passion in his voice like, Come on, Jeff, like, you're, you gotta beat these kids. You gotta fucking pass these kids. And he's yelling, and I just, it sounds like my voice now. Yeah, it's like I would be like that as a dad. I, I can yeah. see my future almost. Like, he, he just cared so much for us. And yeah. I always, like, I forgot that. I always just thought that, you know, he was a piece of shit. Would you ever go skydiving? I think I, I would really depend on my mood on the day. Oh, so you're spontaneous, spontaneous. Like, you would just randomly jump out of a plane but you don't know like if you would ever want to. They say more people, a, a actually, bit. more people get killed in swan paddle boats than skydivers. Actually, that's it. Did you just make that up? Yeah. Oh, look at this. This is so it's nice. It's like the Twin Towers. Were you alive for 9-11? I was, yeah. I yeah. could never go on a date with a girl that wasn't alive for 9-11. My mom right? was in the building. Yeah. I brought my mom on the podcast to do like a 9-11 survivor, like clickbait thing. And then oh, we just yeah, kind of yeah. joked around about it because- That's smart. That's how we deal with our trauma and stuff. It worked out and she survived. And if she yeah. didn't, I'd probably have a career on SNL like Pete Davidson. Have you, have you met Pete Davidson? Um, no, and I just want to clear up that, you know, Pete Davidson's father was going up to save. Oh, of I course. I just think yeah. that the, tra the trauma from that loss made him so much funnier than me and more successful than me. If my mom would have say not made it, maybe I would have gotten on SNL. I think Pete Davidson would still be just as funny, but he would have less drug problems. You're probably right. Like you, uh, you balance, you balance me out because I just said a completely insane thing to you, but you gave me like a logical response. Woo! The fuck's going on over there, baby? Fuck, fucking love. Fuck. Um, I like hiking, swimming, you really? hanging out with people. I do like hiking, yeah. I, I went to Yosemite over Christmas. It was great. Yosemite's the best. I that was one of my favorite trips. Where is Mount Everest? Can we get a fact check? 
Jamie, I should know this shit. Yeah. I, I watched an entire documentary. You know, I even took one of those Joe Rogan alpha brain pills before this, and it's not <laughs> fucking working. It's not. Are you vaccinated? Yeah. Are you vaccinated? Yeah. I mean, like I'm a- whatever you are, baby. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. If we had a, like a male child, like a little boy. Yeah. Would you, because I know you're not religious, would you want to circumcise the the boy? I probably would, yeah. yeah. It just feels like the thing to do. What about you? I'll just come straight out and say it because, you know, we're, yeah. we're getting serious here. It's on the last three. I yeah. am circumcised. You are circumcised. Yeah. Okay, awesome. I, I have no preference circumcised or not. We're snipping our boy. Yes. <laughs> All right. It's, it's, it's <laughs> yeah. decided. We're fucking chopping right into that dick of his, that little baby dick. Yeah. And also, I want to clarify this random, the the six down to three. I had no part of that shit. That was the crew. They did yeah. that without telling me. They made me pick last, like, real quick. And the first name I said was yours. So I just oh. wanted to make sure we kept you. Flattered. You're in a tough position. They're beautiful. They're... They're talented and smart, like I am too. If they win, then they deserved it, and I'm happy for them, you know? Yeah. <laughs> you guys think we could get an excavator in this lake real quick? Okay. <laughs> Let's get some views on this shit, you know what I'm saying? <laughs> okay, part. yeah, if you were a fish, what kind of fish would you be? Orca. Orca, interesting. Apex predator, or like a penguin, because they're just dope, I like penguins. Yeah, those are great fish. Oh, they're not fish. <laughs> <laughs> It's romantic, huh? It's roma- romantic. Favorite type of felony? The first thing that comes to mind for favorite felony is murder, but I don't know felonies. No, you don't want to do a murder. What if they deserved it? Oh, if yeah. it's like, a, say, like somebody molested your your child. Yeah, and they got off free because of the... And then you go kill them and yeah. then you get in trouble because you... Yeah. I guess I would do that. Well, I would like to do a felony that has like benefits from it, like robbing yeah. a bank. Like if we rob a bank, okay. then we're taking a risk, but there could also just be a big reward. True. Robbing a bank is a little, it's like old school, you know? Yeah, it's but like, you could still do that. Yeah, I'm like, do people rob banks anymore? Or do they do like crypto scams? If I'm gonna, if I'm gonna steal money, I'd rather yeah. go in a bank with a fucking gun and say, give me all the fucking money. <laughs> I think I feel bad for the person that got the gun pointed at them. Well, it's not their money. Insurance companies, banks cover it. And but having a gun pointed at you is traumatic. You gotta get that money somehow. True, true. And this is hypothetical. Whoa, did you see that bird almost- The bird almost gave you a kiss. It was great. I mean, he's a conversationalist. I'm a conversationalist. It just flowed really naturally. Like She's so easy to talk to. We were just flowing, you know? We were in the flow state, just cruising. And it felt like it was like five minutes I was out there with her, you know? She's super funny, she's sweet, she's cute. Would there be a second date? Yeah, absolutely there'd be a second date, yeah. Hopefully there is a second date. All right, could you imagine a second date? Obviously, yeah, of course. I already, I may have told her that she won. All of them are great. I would love to give all these women my poll, but unfortunately, I only have one poll to give and that will go to, we'll see. Okay. All right. (laughs) What a We're lovely great. afternoon you two had. It was great. You guys really uh, hit it off. That was really nice. Yeah, it was. We're great, huh? <laughs> He's a good dude. He's funny, right? He's hilarious. Yeah. I can't, I forgot all that stuff that I said. You guys made us look really good. Good. I'm glad. You think like, they made us look good? I mean, I I, I I feel like that was like, let's put in the craziest stuff that he said. Yeah. That's yeah. just what you guys were. There were some like, uh, you know, some off kilter stuff we talked about that was maybe cut that I'm super oh, glad. Oh, nice. Was cut. Do you want to touch on that now? No. <laughs> what was it? What? We can button it out. Oh, no. It was in there. Oh, That's yeah. We did talk about it. They, yeah. That was kept. Just kidding. No, all the 9 11 stuff was in there. Oh, the 9 11 stuff? We elaborated stuff? more about 9 11. I think. I'm I think glad he... they cut it short. <laughs> right. They just yeah. left what, in the terrible pro, stuff wait, that I said. Wait, hold on. Are you pro 9 11? No. Oh, no. Okay. Super no, anti 9 11. I wasn't sure. Yeah. I'm a leftist, so. Wait, how left? Uh, what are the what are the options? Because if you go far enough left, I think you might find you, some pro 9/11. Yeah, you come back around. Yeah, 
though. Well, but okay, okay. you're not that far. Oh, no, yeah. Yeah. Uh, yeah. How long was the boat ride? Because yeah, I agree. It went by. You guys. It went. It hour? was. It felt like five minutes, but it was about an hour and a half. Yeah. Wow. So nice. And um, I had so. So you paid off the vest guy. I thought that was. Did you like that? He did that. What did you? Yeah, that was pretty that? hot. Did you actually like yeah. that? I didn't yeah, know they yeah, were yeah. filming that. It's pretty badass. I, I had to grease the guy because I didn't want us to be having to wear those vests when we we're doing a production. Absolutely. And especially, yeah. you know, I know that I'm I'm confident enough that I know I could swim with her on my back through across that lake. Strong swimmer. Easily. Yeah. Okay. yeah. And Are you, you trusted strong? that. Are you a strong su- a swimmer, Morgan? Me? Um, I swim a lot. I wouldn't necessarily call myself a strong swimmer though. You could make it out of the lake. Oh, yeah, I could definitely make it out of the lake. Okay, that's... I'd be really upset about it, though. <laughs> right, sure. Well, like I don't the, think... a wet dog just, like, flopping <coughs> out. <coughs> right. Um, so that was a good move. That was slick. You walk around with hundreds on you. That's that's pretty cool, that's too. That's smart. Yeah. You never know when you gotta slick. grease somebody, yeah. you know? That's yeah. really cool. I'm not a, I'm not cool like that. I don't grease people. Start. It's not too I late could. to start. It's badass. <laughs> yeah. Who else do you... No resis. You walk up to a restaurant... You know, hostess, it's already in your hand. Just take it. You it, do that? It's, it's already done. You like, actually do if that? If you can't make it happen, fine. It's already yours. Yeah. You said you did that with Nobu on uh, Did I tell podcast. you that? You meant, no, you oh, mentioned on the podcast. On the podcast. Yeah. See, this is the problem. I don't know what she knows about <laughs> I know me. everything. Well, yeah. obviously, I mean, you guys wouldn't be sitting together. <laughs> You're right. You're right. Yeah. But so that's a good thing. Dude, yeah. That's, that's badass. You do that? You fucking grease them up. You say, "Hey, I fucking that's slipped the hundred. It's yeah. already folded up in their hand, and it's yeah. already in their hand. And then when they it's look yours. at it, they're like, oh no, I can't take this.' I was like, you already did. <laughs> he already <laughs> took it. Like, yeah, <coughs> you already did. Uh huh. And I, now, frankly, if I don't get the table, somebody's gonna hear about it. I've done that before too. It's just kind of a baller, you know. Hey, hook me up. Do you do a hundred? Depends on oh. the occasion. Damn, I didn't know about all these cool guy shit. Uh, uh, speaking of a romantic uh, date, uh, Gabe was there to basically chaperone you guys and make sure that, you know. Yeah, I remember I had to tell Gabe, don't fuck me, Gabe. <laughs> I'm fucking you. I'm fucking you. I'm fucking you. Yeah. You tried to fuck me out there oh, on that good. lake. <laughs> I'll fuck your boat up. <laughs> He's the orca. So, Gabe, you were instructed to just keep an eye on them. Were you trying to battering ram them? What was the goal out there? Well, I'm trying to spy them, see if I can get a date. But fuck. A date? <laughs> You're trying to make I a move. I'm so lonely up there. Are you, you trying, trying to steal my spy woman? On you. Were you trying to steal see what's his? Going on. Okay. Were you trying to steal his girl or meet someone there? Trying to meet somebody there, okay. and I don't know if she's the right one, but. He seems like the right one right now. Fuck. Wait, 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 wait. For you or Jeff? Probably for me. <laughs> what the fuck? What the fuck, Gabe? <laughs> <laughs> oh shit, dude. That's awesome. Um, okay, well, season two, <laughs> Bachelor in Paradise. Yeah, that's- yeah that'll be nice. <laughs> Thanks, Gabe. What you working on there? Just out of curiosity. And happy Friday to you as well. Happy Friday. It's Friday, baby. Woo! Ooh, fuck it's yeah. Friday, baby. Woo! I'm trying to pull up Cinnabon at Wendy's to see if it's good. Oh, you did Wendy's too? Whoa, yep, that's a crazy Wendy's. shot, bro. <laughs> Holy shit, bro. <laughs> People used to get arrested for that type of perspective. What is, what is red there? What do yeah. I see right now? <laughs> well, we're back. Chili. Oh, uh, <laughs> oh no, it's a Cinnabon. <gasps> oh, it's a Cinnabon. Yeah. 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 Very nice, yeah. man. Sponsored by Wendy's? I wish. No. That was a good one. A lot of yeah. icing in that bite. So, yeah. um, uh, oh, it's a Cinnabon from Wendy's. Yeah. Okay, thank yeah. you. Um, Pull up Cinnabon. Now, Jeff, you had mentioned you ran over a homeless person on the date. <laughs> there was some, um, there was some confusion as if that had happened or not. That had happened earlier that day. Oh, uh, that had, same day. But, um, the, the way it was cut, didn't really let me finish the story. I, w- I ran. I was running over, and I tripped over a homeless guy that was camouflaged in. He was wearing the same... His sweatshirt was the same color as the concrete, and it was on, on my bad eye side. So he was like... You know the when they, like, nod out, like, 
tranked out. Mm -hmm. He was nodding out, and he just jumped back, and he hit me while I was running like 100 miles per hour. And You run that fast? I, I mean, I guess the way it sounded like... You've seen him run. When I first, when I first said it, it, she thought I had killed the homeless guy. That's what it certainly sounded like. And, and drove away. In all fairness, I can't, I still right now can't tell if you're doing like a deadpan bit. Yeah. He's in the way that you're that. introing. No, story. it's a true story. My that legs is all thing, screwed though, up. You, Jeff. Sometimes it's hard to tell if you're serious or not. Well, you got to figure it out. Yeah. Murder. It's part of the mystery. Murder. You got to like, get it into the me. pocket. You get it. Yeah. I could we'll, tell you get it already. We'll figure it out. Maybe maybe I'm just really good at pretending to get it. Yeah. Ooh. And also you're good at giving it back too. Yeah. I don't know, something about you brings out like a sassiness in me that isn't normally present. <coughs> I yeah. think watching your podcast, I was like, I need to like, I need to be sassy. Like he just makes me wanna Yeah. Like, Remember when I said yeah. my favorite fish was a penguin and you said, Yeah, that's a That's sassy. a fish. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, yeah. It's worth mentioning the orca is also uh, not um, a fish. Yeah, it's a mammal. Yeah. I thought about mammal, mentioning yeah. it, but then I thought like that would be mean or something. Yeah, he he needs I got a gold. To hear it. I should have said goldfish brain. It's basically, me, fish. Yeah, me too, buddy. But um, well, we got Google and stuff on our phones now for stuff like yeah. that. So things like that don't matter. That's what I say. It's called convergent evolution when mammals evolve to be like fish. It's Ooh. like they're basically fish. We got wings. Oh my god. <laughs> wow. That's super Are you cool. into cuz I watch so many documentaries about like orcas. I should know that an orca is not technically not a fish whatever. But very literally a mammal, but go ahead. It <laughs> swims in the ocean. It's true, it's confusing. Yeah. It eats other fish. It, they eat great white sharks. It's pretty yeah. gangster, you know. All, right? So, um, I I agree though orca is the coolest animal to be if you had to choose. Yeah. Sperm whales are also really cool. They are cool. Sperm whales are dope. They fight big ass squids, right? Yeah, and they have songs. Deep sea. Yeah, yeah they go down that deep. That sounds scary. Wars down there. Because yeah. the orcas, nobody really fucks with them. I don't think they have any predators. Oh, other and you, than humans. you guys cut that out. I asked you for the second date if you would be down to go see the Titanic. Oh, he meant like go deep down. Yeah. Like the oh. people that fucking died. Well, I'll that, stop on that. I'll fund it. We're not going to go on the same oh, one. Do they have a backup? Well, yeah. Will you we'll fund go. my funeral too? <coughs> well, who cares at that point? <laughs> <laughs> Don't worry about it. But how, what was it only? It's like 250000 or something to go down there? Yeah. I got um, you. The, it, it may have Perfect. gone up after <laughs> the incident. <sighs> That would be a phenomenal second date, though, wouldn't yeah. it? Oh, who directed the movie? What's the guy's name? Steven Spielberg? James if it was Cameron. Oh, yes. I, I would go down with him. I feel like he was successful a bunch yeah, of times. Me, you, James Cameron, and Gabe. <laughs> yeah, that would yeah, be incredible. Gabe would be on the other submersible chasing you guys. <laughs> Trying to smash into us? Yeah. Uh, How romantic. That's fun. Well, you know, um, so Morgan, tell me a bit about yourself. You are a, um, what do you do? Uh, Well, Day to day, I work for the court, but I put writer because I felt like it was more of the essence of who I am. Um, yeah, just following my dreams and stuff. So, yeah. what are your dreams? I want to be an author. Um, you are a writer. Working a book. Yeah, yeah. I've written like pilots and uh, like short films and stuff before. Mostly, I do plays. But tell them about mm, the book. The novel. book about the dogs. Oh, okay. Um, <laughs> I used to like weird <clears throat> pitching my book, but um, it's about dogs in heaven, and the main dog is depressed, and she's a little bit smaller than a horse, and has multiple layers of teeth, and she's trying to figure out why she's depressed. And <laughs> also, heaven is run by a bureaucracy of ants who like might be evil, but you don't know yet. The ants are in charge of heaven. I'm, I'm yeah. hooked. Yeah. I can't wait. <laughs> it sounds like those ants are evil. Yeah. I need my. I need. Yeah. Are the dogs happy? In heaven, they're happy. There's a mist I, I, that makes I need them to happy. Know. A mist? Yeah. All right. Yeah. <laughs> What's the name of that novel? Do you have one or not? Um, I have a name of it, but like. She's the it's one. It's one of those this things is... where it might change. <laughs> I like that. Yeah. But it's called The Hubbub of Eternal Meats. <clears throat> and <clears throat> who's the target audience for it? Um, I'm like really Me. trying to structure it like an anime. Like. Oh, like. Do I'm you want aiming to animate for like. It? like I'm not trying to animate it. That's like thinking way ahead. Like I want to, that would be like my dream, like my dream come true. But um, like, it's sort of like Steven Universe vibe, but also like 
Attack on Titan was also very inspiring. Uh -oh. so, yeah. I know somebody on the crew likes that. Uh -oh. AB's a huge uh, oh, is he? Titan head. Is he here? He's actually, is he on his way back, Lena? I think uh, he's dealing he, with the furniture right now. Yeah, he's, oh, <laughs> it's furniture time. Yeah. He's got so, more important things to do than the show. Um, so you, what do you do for the court? I'm an administrative assistant. Oh, okay. Yeah. So you work for the LA, you work for the city? Uh, yeah, the county. The county. Mm -hmm. Nice. Good Big perks. Time. Good, uh, good, um. Yeah, very good perks, actually. It's yeah. like a, you know, having a full time job is such a massive opportunity cost to like the writing in general, but you know, it got to put food what on can the you table. You do. Yeah, got yeah, to work exactly. around here. You're going to have to worry about that Man. soon. Hopefully. Mm -hmm. <laughs> I'm putting it out there. You also mentioned something to me on the boat. You said that you were looking to possibly start your own podcast. I would love to have my own podcast. That's like a dream. That's always, I have like mm. a bunch of things I want to do, basically. Mm -hmm. And and Actually, what would the podcast be about? Um, I don't know yet. Um, I really want to interview experts of some sort and just like have it be like a learning educational podcast. I see. I don't know. That's yeah. nice. Yeah, yeah. Uh, Gabe is an expert in... Um, Ice cream? White claw tasting? What would you <laughs> what would you say is your best skill, uh, Gabe? My best skill is making people laugh, making people happy, Damn. giving them romantic Nailed advice. Fuck. Yeah. I, I, gotta, I gotta follow my own advice and work on it on myself. That I was, can give people advice, but I gotta work it myself too. That was really actually a wonderful answer. Thank you for that. He also knows like every Ooh. ice cream brand. Like afterwards, we got ice cream, and he was naming them all. And I was like, "Wait, you guys did the ice cream? I didn't see the ice cream. Oh, you guys ice went at, without the crew? Uh, no. I tried. I asked if we could exchange phone numbers, but they <clears throat> said it was against the rules. I know. I I feel bad because, like, you know, it's so you guys weird. Had this you end a date, and then you can't talk for a couple weeks. Yeah, and it's only on camera we can communicate. But we got a, we snuck in a little conversation back there before. Yeah. Yeah, well, you guys had us waiting back there, so what do you think we're going to well, do? Tell us you leave us word. alone together tell in a room. every <laughs> word that was spoken. We can't. Play by play. Yeah, well, don't worry, we were secretly that. recording you the whole time. So. <laughs> True. <laughs> yeah, I know, I feel that that aspect of it, I, I do feel badly about it. It makes me... But I, I respect the... You really respecting the... I respect the, the work Fence. that's yeah. put into it from you guys. Yeah. And I appreciate yeah. you doing all this for me to find love. And, <laughs> you know... Well, this is so nice that you guys get to meet to see each other again uh, here, yeah, right on the show. Sure. Um, I noticed you guys bonding over both being vaccinated. Yeah. Yep. Yeah. I'm um, whatever you are, baby. <laughs> 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 so, are you are you pro vax? Are you into vax? Yeah, yeah. Good for yeah, you, Jeff. Yeah. You know what? You That's so nice I'm because, like, too. if you just go like one step to the yeah. like the right of you, like Bradley Martin or something, yeah. and you enter like a whole another universe of... Yeah. But you're a good man. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Yeah. Good for you. I got nothing to hide. Would you date an unvaxxed man, Morgan? Uh... Uh, probably not. I mean, like, like... I don't want to <laughs> say a hard no, because what if they have some good reason for it? But, uh... If they did it for ideological reasons. They probably, did not do it for ideology. Probably not, because there's probably a lot more going on in their yes. brain that I can't really get behind. That's the correct answer. Yeah. yeah. That's, that's yeah. The Thank right you, one. Olivia. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. That's the right one. Uh -huh. We were talking about Anytime. vaccinating our kids. Uh, how okay. would she feel about that? And she, she we, said that, she wants to big, yes. poke them up. Two we for do. one, circumcision, vaccination. Circumcision. Do oh. rabbis do vaccinations? <laughs> um... Uh, reform rabbi. I'll have to figure it out. Yeah. I'm slash urologist. I, I don't know. I, you know, I don't have a lot I of. I follow all the rules. That's why I'm vaxxed. What, what is it? <laughs> I follow the rules. You nice. follow. I'm the, glad. That's right, man. We that's love right. that. Yeah, He's a rule yeah. follower. The rules are there for a reason. Yeah, I, exactly. <clears throat> How many times have you been vaccinated? 154. <laughs> there was that story. I'm Twice. trying to figure out who it was. Twice. Three times. Three times. Me too. Bounce. Me too. Three times. <laughs> Shirtless Eddie. I don't know if you guys know him. I think I know who he, he is. He was on our show and he had said that he's been vaccinated like hundreds of times. <laughs> and we asked why. He says because it's free. And then <laughs> we saw an article like a few weeks ago in, that, in uh, 
I don't know where. I don't remember where. I think was, but about there, there was an individual that they weren't identifying that was vaccinated 154 times. But isn't the vaccine just giving you a tiny little bit and like something to fight it off? So it your does body not learns? Think, Yeah, it, it's totally. So if you're just point. injecting a bunch of COVID into your body, it's a dead cells. It doesn't. Well, I don't know, but apparently it does not help. I guess yeah. my my in, initial thought when you said vaccinated 154 times was he was just like getting vaccinated for all kinds of diseases, like not just, just COVID, COVID, but no, just, just COVID. COVID. Just COVID. Yeah, That's nuts. Yeah. Uh, look, coincidentally, <laughs> there's an article in Forbes today. Why is this happening? God it's damn it! Not... Hold on. Uh, I... About a study hyper hyper vaccination uh, vaccination. It's called. And uh, apparently it's fine. No adverse health effects. So that's well, what up, about baby. positive health effects? No, no positive. But I mean, so, have so at it. If that's it the vibe, that's got to be somebody's kink, right? Needle kink. Yeah. I'm. I guess probably. Yeah. It's cool. I guess maybe it's a fun process. You take the needle out, and there's a nice nurse that. Yeah. Did you ever inject yourself with the needle? No, like for drugs. No. I see. Well. Um, one of my friends out there, he does it with uh, steroids. Oh. I see him in the kitchen every the big morning. Needle. Have you done the Cody? Big needle, yeah. Yep. What do you think it is? Oh, so he does yeah. steroids? Yeah, he can and, out and, here and, and demonstrate. I wonder. That's <laughs> and the Yeah, that's he's the cocktail. All, that's the cocktail you got to get. Have you on. met Cody? We just met just now. Oh, Cody's here. Yeah, right. yeah. Cody, he why don't you you want to come say hi? <laughs> Cody's my good buddy. He was wearing the Michael Myers mask. It's terrifying <laughs> when Don't you see him walking around with my, that thing. Oh, Cody. Um, <coughs> me and Cody are friends. He bought he bought me a Sodi. He bought me a Sodi last up. time I saw you. Yeah, you want to come sit here? Yeah, of course. Nice to see you. You been good? Yeah, Nice, bro. Good to see you. So you're on steroids and Ozempic? Yes. Nice, man. It's working? Yeah, you're good. Do you believe in science? Ah, yeah, big time. So, when you take medical grade steroids, you're able to recover faster. Because the human body can only recover so much on its own. Yeah. So you use an enhancement to help. Right. And then I use Ozempic <laughs> to uh, <laughs> sprout my appetite. There you go. And is it working? Interesting. Tell me. Let's see what you <laughs> yes! Oh, 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 Stealing the sh oh, oh my God. no! <laughs> David Dobrik is scared right now, boy. Oh, that guy's. I'll oh, handle that. Josh. <laughs> Josh. So what? So, um, do you have any questions for um for Morgan? I mean, I mean what just... about a question for you, Cody? How are you gonna feel about when I'm in a relationship and you have to move out? Ooh. You have Ooh. to go find your own way. I thought he was gonna sleep in the bed. <laughs> no. Like the grandparents in Charlie and the Chocolate Factory? We're not, it, we're not, we can't do that. <laughs> yeah, 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 yeah. It's not gonna work. Um, I'm gonna be sad, but I'm good on my own. Yeah. You, I don't need you. That's true. You don't. You <laughs> no, can. I'll just sell Ozempic. And testosterone. And testosterone. How's that business? <laughs> it's great. It's booming. It's, it's booming. taking off. Everybody's, yeah. he's sold out right now. Sold out. Where do you get it? Pharmacies and, uh. Shh, that, don't, no, you don't, don't say, to, you don't, know, you, I, you don't I, have I, to I, answer every, it's not, a, it's, not, it's not a narcotic, so, no, it's, it's not. not a controlled substance. It's actually totally not. Yeah, so. So, but, so you just, you hit up a bunch of spots and just find people who are down? Oh, uh, yeah. Wow. And then I, uh, middleman them, I negotiate a price. Dude. And then I she add my speak to an attorney, percentage Cody. on top for my time and energy. Dude, that is straight entrepreneurial ship right there, my brother. Good for you. Yeah. It comes with drug dealing. <laughs> you gotta yeah. figure out a way. <laughs> figure out a way. <laughs> That's actually pretty yeah. slick. I mean, genuinely, I don't... I mean, people should do it with a doctor. That's probably the only drawback, but... It's, it's also, I don't think it's complicated. Well, I saved them the doctor visit and the cost of the pharmacy. It's big savings. Pays for itself. And their time. Yeah. <laughs> mm -hmm. I love, this guy knows what's up, man. <laughs> <laughs> awesome. I keeps it real, you know? That. He keeps yeah. it real. He's honest. I'm hungry. I gotta eat. Mm -hmm. Wendy's ain't free. And that the Ozempic helps. Yeah. Curbed appetite. Yeah, curb the appetite. Um, <laughs> <laughs> that's awesome, dude. And um, so, uh, Morgan, if you're in the market for any kind of, what can you get? Ooh. Could I have some testosterone? No, Grow no, you, you don't know. You don't. <laughs> I don't, I don't you I don't. had that in, the, in your music video. Your yeah. friends were all wearing mustaches. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. I don't want to make you too jacked. 
Yeah. 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 You we'll might get bigger that. than Jeff, you know? Yeah. You might become controlling. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Funny. Um, <clears throat> I noticed you guys were bonding a little bit over, um, you had, you had an interesting 9-11 policy that I thought, nobody who wasn't around during 9-11, too young. Obviously, yeah. What's the, what does that mean? It was 2000 2001. So one. that would make you 23, which was the cutoff. That off. was the cutoff. Oh, yeah. so the 9-11 rule is in, is in Lined place. up perfectly. Wonderful. Yeah. Where were you on when those towers fell? I was in New York. I was in school. Oh, shit. You were yeah. in New York? I didn't know that. Yeah, yeah my mom was everything. in the building. We just oh, fuck. We, we Wait, just I didn't know that, that that was real, though. You didn't hear the... The date? Well, I don't know what's real, bro. The truth. <laughs> but your mom was in the one of the um, trades. Yeah, yeah, she made it out, and that's that was a whole joke. Was like that's why I didn't make it on SNL. It was a terrible, the joke terrible joke. Me. But yes, it's a true story. And no, what my floor mom, was she on? Forty fourth. Wow, that's we bad. had her on the podcast, and I had her call in to confront Hassan because Hassan said that America deserves no another 9-11 or something like that. And then I had my, mo my mom call in and I told her what he said. And she was like, you said what? And Hassan like got in a debate with my mom. It was oh, man. Yeah. So was she in the first or second tower? First tower to get hit. Whoa. She was walking to the copy machine to make copies. She was a secretary. And... The plane hit and the whole building just swayed and all the picture frames flew off the walls and she went outside and looked out and she saw like bodies and the plane falling oh no yeah Jesus Christ. she went through a lot of shit she's a tough woman my mother and so did she t how did she get down so fast did you take an elevator she no you can't take the elevator yeah. so we were all filled with she just ran down the stairs she had 44 flights good of stairs for, good yeah, for she them took so her shoes off and just went because she had heels on so she just went down the stairs Smart. yeah but thinking. for like six to like 10 hours, I didn't know if she was alive, you know, because back then there were no phones and stuff like that. So I was just in school and every, all the kids were like, yeah, everybody in those buildings are dead. Oh, and God. And I was like, oh, fuck, my mom's in there. Oh, that's, that's, wow. Yeah, but that's why, you know, I, yeah. I'm happy you are of age to know about those times. Where were you during 9-11? <laughs> I have no idea. That's all right. <laughs> I don't remember 9-11 at all. May I ask your, okay. uh, may I ask your age? 27. Okay, so... So you were, when those towers fell, you were six? It was a 20, what did 20, we say? Uh, I was four. You're I was four. born in 1997. Oh, yeah. So yeah, four years later, I was four. Where were you, Cody? Were you on the plane? <laughs> were you in pilot school? Right, do you have an alibi for that day? I was in the school hallways <laughs> cutting class. Not, I was in school, but didn't go to school. Does it make sense? Yeah. <laughs> That's badass. So, and then the, <laughs> the, the dean, if you know what a dean is, it's like, yeah, the, the security guard. Yeah, I, I called them like the undercovers. Uh huh. And uh, they're like, "Oh, you got to go back to class." I was like, "Come on." And then uh, they're like, "Why?" I was like, "Why?" They're like, "All right, if I tell you something, you you can't panic." And then they're like, "Oh, a plane just crashed into the Twin Towers." And I just thought it. I just <laughs> ran out to school. It's like, "All right, forget you guys. See you later." <laughs> I was like, "I'm not sitting in a school. The school's next." <laughs> <laughs> and then I had the, I had the worst experience of my life. My I, my friend's mom picked up. Our, uh, her son and we drove a couple blocks and he's like ma can we drive him home she's like f no get him out the car oh my god and threw me right in the corner cool nobody knew what was going on yeah the, was, the skies were black i was in new york too and my oh. friend's mom everybody was panicking the streets were scattered and oh, it was just shit. like the whole sky friend, was covered in black here. smoke Those, wow yeah and i had to take the city bus home that's cold hey it's a cold world sure is yeah what about you ethan I, oh, thank you. Where were you on? on I was at. I was at. I was sick. I was at home. Oh. <laughs> Wait. What city were you in? I was in uh, Ventura. Oh, I gotcha. grew up oh, on, okay. in so California in SoCal. My brother. He goes. The, when the first tower got hit, he came into my room all excited. He's he's like a great guy. He's a little autistic, and I don't mean that like he is actually. And so he comes in like excited, not like, but like, he's like, yo, Ethan, wake up. He can't really, he can't really, uh, express himself between like excitement, like happy excitement and like scared excitement or whatever. He's like, Ethan, wake up. A tower just hit, a plane just hit the world trade center. And I was like, whatever, dude. And I just, I went back to sleep. And then when I came back out, I, I saw the second one happen on the news. news. I thought it was a joke at first. It was, I thought right. it was a joke. 
Right. Oh. I was at um I was at my friend Lou's um house in Queens, and then one of the mailmen <clears throat> says, "Do you know the World Tra- Trade Center collapse?" I thought it was a joke. I was kind of laughing, and then we turned the TV on, and that was shocking. One of the twin twi- towers was hit by a plane. It was so shocking. Yeah. And I, I couldn't get to New Jersey that night. You were in New York too. Because what? all the were you in New York at the time as well? Oh, you're in. Oh shit, that? that's crazy. A lot of New well, Yorkers here. Yeah, it was actually really sad because, like, usually United States is always doing the bombing. Yeah. <laughs> and uh, <laughs> to where's see that, the them, smoke where... in a building, real life, to know that your country's under attack and you don't know what's coming next was a uh, pretty like. Fearful. Yeah. Yeah, like scary. Yeah, scary. Some say it was an inside job, but well, my mom a, doesn't think so. The guy so. that owned so, the Twin Towers had a, a billion dollar insurance policy. You know? Yeah. He had a what? He had a billion dollar insurance policy. And he owned what? The Twin Towers. Well, how much is the Twin Tower worth? I don't know. He got paid out four billion after the attack. He got four billion on a one billion policy? No, he was a four billion dollar policy. If we could Google it, there was a guy. There's a conspiracy. Let's get into this, guys. Yeah. yeah. There was a conspiracy. He put the policy on like a couple days before or a week before, and he got paid out four billion dollars. Who is this? What's this man's name that's responsible for 9/11? Need team to pull it up. This. <laughs> because I thought. All right. It- all right. <laughs> no, let's let's find out. Let's get to the bottom of this. Guys. <laughs> Pull it up. No, 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 I thought we, we had it handled. Today, Ethan, so we could really use that green, <laughs> that green icon on this one. We could really I thought that, that was already taken icon. care of. I thought it was Osama. If but, there's a new, if there's a different guy, we got him. Well, you don't want to hear about. 9/11. What did you think about when the when the uh, seals, the Navy seals, got o- Osama bin Laden? I don't remember that either. Well, when was that? When, when, what year did you ever see the movie Lone Survivor? No. Good. Good. That's Good. cool. He wants Good. to watch that with you. No, no, no. I, I've only seen. I only watched the second half of it. It was a great movie, and it's a true story. Um, but that's cool that you didn't watch it for some reason. <laughs> I don't know. Cool? I just like that you like you're like into writing stuff and like you doing your own thing. You'd rather miss a lot of movies. Yeah. And so you you did you attend? Uh, do you have a degree? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Attend college? I don't know. Yeah, yeah. I got a bachelor's in communication. Nice. Yeah, like I don't know what that means. I still don't know what that means. Like broadcast? Uh, it's like it's like a catch-all. It's like for a bunch of stuff. Like, um, you can kind of hone in on whatever you want. But I did a lot of like media stuff. Like, mm. kind of learned a teeny bit about every aspect of media. Mm. Yeah. How'd you learn to play guitar? Uh, that was like a COVID hobby. No way. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Like, uh, I started with ukulele and then switched to guitar. Yeah, yeah. And then you just started making songs. Yeah. Yeah. Okay, so wait. Did, yeah. You're missing out on some... Look, guys, I know 9-11... We're doing, we're still, I know 9-11 just uh, happened, and we need in. to get to the bottom of it, but... There, but you know but you know that building was worth, like, a lot of money. It was, like, the most... Probably the most valuable building in the whole country. I'm sure they rented a lot of offices. i actually been to the restaurant on top. But I'm just saying that's not indicative, necessarily, of a conspiracy, because, I mean, the building was probably worth several multiple billions and the insurance policy god knows how much he was paying yeah but they just found it like uh odd because it was like a couple days or a week that i'm curious if it's yeah. true and dan is gonna t- fact check that out. i am okay. yeah how many days before <laughs> was that in po- what well, dude of course the guy had insurance on the world trade center <laughs> You don't buy the World Trade Center <laughs> and skip on insurance. <laughs> like, who the fuck does that? There's it, people that drive around with no insurance on cars. People, yeah, those are those are dumbasses, not people that, that are like a bajillion heirs that own like the most valuable building in the world. Like Bill Gates is like Yeah, yeah, for sure. Like <laughs> Bill Gates in 9/11, 150. Okay. <laughs> yeah, uh, that's a joke. That. That's a joke. Bill joke, Gates owns joke 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 joke, 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 joke. I know that's true. That actually And Michael me Jordan. Out. Oh, you taught me that about yeah, the Yeah, yeah. Michael Jordan, Bill Gates, a lot of billionaires. I don't like that. That I, sucks. If I was a billionaire, I would own prisons too. <laughs> <laughs> All right, there you go. I guess it's the good news <laughs> for real. Fuck yeah. yeah. You want to get back yeah. in there in the game? <laughs> I would just sell ramen noodles. I would get them at 10 cents. But you're already a billionaire. I want well, more. Would you sell testosterone in the prison? Yeah. <laughs> Anything. Yeah. To the inmates? The ranges, testosterone, or zempics. Knives? No, I don't want to no inflict okay. injury. Okay, just curious, because there's oh. demand. Yeah. Cell phones. Cell phones, yes. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Some drone drops. Drone um, drops. So, but, but you understand, like, I doubt that there was... 
ever a time when that building wasn't insured? Did the world, okay, let's get to the bottom of it. Did the World Trade Center leaseholder buy terrorism insurance just before 9-11? Look, I'm not 100% correct. I read it on Instagram. Oh, the rating is <laughs> mixture. Yeah, yeah. Some of the most persistent contemporary legends about 9-11 attacks involve people supposedly benefiting. Um, who are fortuitous enough to call in sick and this and that. You guys are familiar. Uh, this guy, I'm not, I don't want to say his name because I didn't want to get into it. Um, who famously signed a 99-year lease. Oh, for real? That's like, that sounds like Scientology, like lease your, your well, fucking you soul out for a billion years. <laughs> two months before the attack. Okay, so he leased it out two months before the attack. If he leased it, why would he get, why would he get the insurance money? This look at this article, bro. I can't even. This is like Snopes, the fact checking website, and even their shit looks like fucking four chan. Like I can't do this. I'll look into this another time. But you've been right. You've been right. Mm -hmm. You guys just talked about how the internet's getting worse. Yeah. Yeah. It's true. It is. It is. She just. Uh, gave me a cute little piece of information. She learned how to play guitar and make songs during COVID. That was just a COVID hobby. Yeah, that was my COVID oh. hobby. Oh, well, that's I thought she was a natural musician. No, I have very stiff fingers. Well, like... you fooled me. <laughs> that song was a hit and it blew up. Big and time. I'm sure it's all in the chat right now. Um, so also another thing I, I noticed you guys bonded over circumcision. I thought that was sweet. Yes. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Yes. And I think it's important to talk about, you know, yeah. and, and, and what is your, what is your uh, logic for going that route? Now I'll disclose uh, I'm, I and all my boys are circumcised. So I'm, do you, I'm, do you ever think like maybe this guy will, you know, switch it up on this one? Cause you're having well, so many kids. Like, a, like I said before, <laughs> no, it's a cultural thing, right? Cause my, my wife, especially who's, uh, more, because in, in Israel, it's like unheard of to not yeah. be circumcised. Yeah, I guess. But don't you do it at, when you're like 12 years old? And Fuck no. What? No. Who the hell? I don't know. I, I heard something that like that birth? in yeah. Israel. They wait till you're like, like having oh a hoodie. My God. Or maybe that was like, like a sign. Like, 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 you have it off, you yeah. know? <laughs> no, people who get it done at like that age, it, it seems really traumatic. At, they do it at birth. Yeah. Well, t I think traditionally in, in uh, Judaism, it's like a week after. My boys got, all got it the same day they were born. That's the way to do it. Super I, fast. I think, yeah. It's the way to do it. So you that's, don't have to worry about it. You that's know? right. Day zero <laughs> cells. That's what stem cells come from. Yeah. From and, umbilical cords. And, and I'm not even kidding. I'm pretty sure like Sandra Bullock or someone, they have a face cream made with stem cells from for, discarded foreskin. Cut them off. I, I, I don't even think I'm speaking at a turn. We fact, was right? It Sandra Bullock? I, yeah, makes it sense. Right. It's it makes sustainable. sense. She was talking about it on Ellen. Yeah, I, I pulled that up, man. Yeah. And what are they going to do with them? Anyway, That's if true. they're not going to use them for something positive like skincare, just throw them in the trash? Well, I, th I don't, I think true. it's debatable if it's effective just getting like discarded foreskins wrapped up in like bubblegum <laughs> wrapping. <laughs> Just go dump them in Echo Park. It's a little bit weird that she puts baby's foreskin on her face. Yeah. She looks great, though. So Something's I mean, working. Yeah. Something's working. Mm -hmm. <laughs> um, but Cody, what, let's what, see if we could get a bunch of uh, foreskin. Let's see if we could get maybe yeah. in, break into the back of a hospital. I actually have a dumpster. Yeah. guy in Arizona. I'm going to text him after this. But we need the foreskins. <laughs> we, like we need a sack of foreskins. Well, we're going to make a skincare line. You We're and me. Put them in a blender. Blend them up with some of Jeff's products. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Yeah. <laughs> and Morgan's gonna test. Just it think about it. Figure it out. Write it out. Man. Make a note in your phone. Let's get on that tomorrow. Go to the hospital floor. Ask for baby foreskin. <laughs> You're gonna go oh. back to jail and do that. <laughs> <laughs> Pretty sure. That's, that's a tough one. <laughs> Holy shit. <laughs> <laughs> um, sorry, but you asked me about my philosophy. Yeah, yeah, please. Um, I honestly don't really have one. It's one of those things where I'm like, if like there was a, a lot of, I, maybe there are like a lot of people who are like anti circumcision. I'd be like happy to hear out their viewpoints, but I've never met a guy who was like upset that he got circumcised. So, there are some, but there's very few. Yeah, I, I've never met one either. Yeah, I'm happily circumcised. <laughs> Yeah. And not that there's anything wrong with not. I'm just, my point is, is that. Um, Stop it, sound. Yeah, Zach's out there. <laughs> so He's doing the Moyle sound bites. <laughs> Chill out, Moyle Bernstein. <laughs> Gabe, what about you? You snipped? 
I don't sniff. No. <laughs> he, he doesn't, doesn't sniff. sniff. All good. All good. No judgment. <laughs> don't worry about it. <laughs> but yeah, that that's kind of my thing too. Is that I don't I don't. I, do, I just, I don't think it's a big deal. I don't. Is it, is it, maybe this is like too TMI, but Nothing. I've experienced both types. Mm -hmm. And this was a question on the show, so I'm curious what you have to say about it. Yeah, it seems like, <laughs> I'm so sorry. It seems no, like guys. I need to know this. Guys you're you're who still are, not, it, the competition's <laughs> not over. So Guys so. who are, um, <laughs> in my purely anecdotal experience, guys who are not circumcised. <laughs> seem to be a lot more sensitive oh. to a point where it's almost oh. difficult oh. to okay. proceed because everything <laughs> is like, ah! Oh. Oh, so wow. all uncircumcised You're men's gone. are premature ejaculators. <laughs> <laughs> no, no, no. <laughs> I'm kidding. I'm kidding. I'm kidding. But there you go. It's a double-edged sword. Oh, you want more sensi sensitivity? Oh, well, I want to last more than one minute. Mm-hmm. Gotta just take the blue pill. It wasn't a matter of like oh. lasting. It was, he's he's got the, another angle. I got yeah. that too. I sure that one, yeah. But you weaken at me, I'm good. I never go into battle without it. True. It's good to have in your, it's good to have. But, you know, I go into it. battle without it. <laughs> absolutely, bro. You know I mean? uh, bro. Yeah, absolutely, bro. Yeah. <clears throat> That's interesting. Okay. Yeah. Science. It comes down to science again. I believe in science. <laughs> yeah. I believe in the scientific method. Yeah. yeah, it's a, it's a dangerous thing. Very interesting. Yeah. Very interesting. So yeah. you're saying that, <laughs> and again, not to be vulgar, just to follow it. Uh, Let's be vulgar. Up, you prefer um, the longevity that comes with a circumcised gentleman, potentially. It, but, uh, oh gosh. Um, potentially. Well, okay, so I Remember wouldn't say Remember our children they, are going to be watching this one day back. Yeah, I, I wouldn't say that they last... <laughs> They, I wouldn't say they last for a shorter amount of time. Right. Um, like the, they would last just as long, but it would just be like, I don't know what to do with this because anytime I do anything, it different, hurts. Different intensity. Yes. Yes. Got yes. It. Yes. Got it. Got it. Yeah. It's like I'm so sorry. This is so vulgar. You're not it's a like, virgin. It's more like um. <laughs> Wait. Hold on. Did you lie in your application? <laughs> it's no, like a, a lot. We didn't less, ask that. It's a lot less vigorous. We'll put it that way. <laughs> and so, and so, you are you prefer vigorous lovemaking, <laughs> Jeff? Your thoughts on that? Are you able to deliver? <laughs> yeah, uh, whatever. How, how, <laughs> he's. I mean, he's an athlete. <laughs> I mean, I, I, I go off of you. So yeah, I am gonna I take would... the testosterone then. No, 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 no! I can't have you beating me up. No, I, I would. I would do what you want. I would get yeah. to know you and, and feel you out and He's see you out. Man. Yeah, it's a dance. You, you like it, and then, you know? Yeah. Nail it down. Call it a day. That's it. I'm out the house. Bye-bye. <laughs> Bye-bye, bye <laughs> bye bye, Cody. Yo, Cody, take a hike. <laughs> go go, go uh, out to Arizona with your, to meet with your stem cell I've seen a lot of uh, Go jump out of a plane or something. Different ones in, in uh, when I was in the pen. What? Prison. Oh, yeah, because you all got to line up naked. In the naked. male shower, you see the ones with the skin and without. Yeah. I just thought it was a religious thing. Yeah, it is. I mean, it's, it's become cultural for, yeah. in America, it's a weird thing. What do you Americans... think the percentages are in from seeing, a, like, oh, a, good question. a full room of 100 inmates? Uh, yeah, I would have to see the percentage of the world's religion. Cock. Well, in America, though, there's there's a lot more. I think it's more common here in America. Yeah, it is. It's it like is. just normalized. Yeah, yeah, it is. And then overseas, it's not. Have you you've never been locked up in another country, right? Not yet. I have. I got. <laughs> I got arrested <laughs> in London. <laughs> <laughs> but let's not. Yeah. You know, yeah. I'm trying to stay clear of that. At least you're honest, Cody. Yeah, I'm just one. I'm gonna. Yeah, just you never know what could happen. You got to prepare. You know. Mm -hmm. Nobody plans to go to jail. I never said, hey, come get me. Yeah. Well, he or, just said he's yeah. planning. Or, no, no, no. I'm just kidding. Uh, you're I, I just... lost track of the conversation. Yeah. Just no, he said he wants to own a prison. Oh, so he yeah, could sell them. Own, own a prison. prison. Yeah, yeah. 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 Not be in one. Yeah, not be in one. What happens if you get arrested and sent to your own prison? That'd be kind of <laughs> That'd be <laughs> sick. That'd be kind of crazy. <laughs> It's like I Pablo Escobar. All the rules. You're like, yo, give me the keys, warden. Yo, give me the keys. Yeah, prison. Pablo Escobar. Pablo built yeah. his own prison. I would have affairs with the correction officers and stuff, you know? Why isn't that a book? I feel like that's an interesting novel. <laughs> you know? Oh, a lot of it goes on in there. Uh, yes. So, um, Morgan, is there any... Um, you guys had this wonderful date. Yeah. Um, 
Is there anything you want to ask Jeff? Uh, anything you've been wondering about? Anything Ooh. that's been stuck with you? He's here now, and I hope you guys get to see and talk with each other uh, very soon after this. I hate to br keep you all apart. Yeah, I should I should have come prepared with questions. Nope, I, I hit you with it. Yeah. Um, I have the I still have the note cards in my purse. <laughs> Don't worry about that. Yeah, cards. no note cards. No note cards. Well, do you do you treasure them as a keepsake? That's what I was kind of thinking. I was like, yeah. can I keep these? That's sweet. It's yeah. a keepsake. Yeah, I'll, I'll frame. Do them. you keep stuff in like a little box? I have a little box. Yeah, I have, I have multiple little boxes at home. That's cute. Yeah. Do you have a box, <laughs> Jeff? Oh. I got a bunch of little gadgets and stuff all around. Huh. Yeah. A couple of box people. Life was box. like yeah. a box of chocolate. Well, I kind of put them around the podcast studio so it gives a little personality, you know? Do I smell what's going on here? No, I have allergies, I think. And, okay. And I was just being polite and respectful. I, Because I know when people see that, that they're going to go crazy. No, no, no. no. Like, uh, the gentleman in the back, he was like, oh, I just ate a banana and my breath smells. I don't care, bro. I'm not kissing you. Who said that? Cam? Yeah. You got banana breath? <laughs> <laughs> I never heard that. Hey, get out of here, banana breath. Bananas <laughs> smell good. Yeah. So, uh, what's the deal now? Can we exchange phone numbers or... <sighs> okay, hold on. <clears throat> Jeff, our, uh, Sam and Ian are here. They are. And together we have a council. Yes. Now, let me speak with uh, my co-council people, if I may. Now... On one hand, we want to keep the competition fair to the other two lovely right. girls uh, who who you are yet to go Me. on your date with them. I totally <laughs> forgot that this was a competition. I know it sucks, <laughs> doesn't it? It's the worst. Because I'm a fan of The Bachelor, and once it gets to like the point where it's it just it sucks, it's painful. Yeah. But that's what love is. It's painful sometimes and magical sometimes. I watched my first episode of the the. Uh, regular Bachelor last night. I still no, I haven't watched it's so any of It's so dumb, but I like it. It's so fun. You, it's, we, we it can be it. really good because the characters are so fucked. On the I, I, I just saw, I just got tagged in a clip where the guy mixes up the names with the roses <laughs> oh, and it was yeah, like that's... what I did with the... <laughs> right. Yeah, right. so it's, I'm scared to watch precedent. it because I'm just going to feel like an idiot. <clears throat> but that guy's a Bachelor Hall of Fame. He got married and he's the new host. Really? Of the show. Yeah, the guy who did that. Isn't that right, Sam? Uh, Jesse Palmer? <laughs> you know everything. You're so Maybe that'll happen yeah, here Palmer. Yeah. with us. You and I. We'll, we'll be the new hosts. The new hosts yeah. <laughs> of a future season. So, Sam and Ian, um, <laughs> what are your thoughts on a number exchange? Uh, no numbers until the end. Ian, you're, you're on the same similar. page? Well... The oh. final date is oh, eight days it. away. It's eight so days away, and I feel I feel like they're not going to get a number exchange for eight more days. So that's eight more days of potential talking that these two get versus the final contestant. It, it, it is definitely okay. unfair. Yeah. Um, so I'll say this: if if possible, um, it, it sucks. I hate to even tell you guys, you know, that you can't talk. But I mean, that is kind of the that is the idea. Well, I want to play by the rules. Yeah, I'm a rule follower like Gabe. Nice. So cool. But, but um, always go by the rules. Yeah. Always. But but absence Definitely. grows you, makes the heart grow fonder. I believe is yeah. the expression. That's true. I could pretend you're like out to war. Mm -hmm. Well, and you I'm, guys like, want like, to pining at my window. Do you want to exchange keepsake? Because you have the keepsake. I'll allow a keepsake exchange. You have don't have one on you, but you can make one, and we'll be an intermediate. I'm so confused. Yeah, what are you talking about? <laughs> if you, oh um, uh, yeah, do you have scissors? Give it a lock. I yeah, I want to snip. I want to. I want some of that hair. Yeah. We could swallow it. <laughs> oh man. Okay. I'm down for that. Yeah. So we're swallowing hair. Yes. A yeah, I, oh, I, I missed the first part. A, a lock of your hair. Yeah, and a lock of your hair. Yeah. You want to do that right now? Right, we have yeah. Wendy's. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> we can do well. Is it, we, your, your hair looks great. I don't want to impose. It looks delicious, huh? It's, yeah, it looks delicious. <laughs> you want to eat it up? Do you guys yeah. want to put, we have Wendy's. Do you want to put on a sandwich? Yeah. Yeah, let's do it. <laughs> I'm, I'm like begging somebody to call me on my bluff right now. <laughs> yeah. No, we're like, eating this hair. Oh, right. Okay. And I have no issue with it because I've eaten tons of hair my whole life. Okay. Like on purpose? 
by accident and on purpose. Okay. Sometimes I would be cutting people because I was a barber in a barber shop oh, and when I was a little a young boy. And I would be uh, cutting hair and Tap. the hair would get all over my hands. And okay. I would mess up my appointments and I'd be busy and it'd be time for lunch. So I'd be eating a sandwich while Eat some, yeah, hair. Yeah. some hair gets in there. Yeah. That is what DNA. it is. And you, that was is, 30 yeah. Staten Island scumbags hair. I would love to. I mean, I, I wouldn't. I wouldn't mind to eat yeah. your hair if not I had to eat any hair. Not thought about yeah. before now. It's not something I had well, thought about <laughs> until you brought it up. I'm, it? I want to do it for the pact thing. I'm, well, I, don't, I don't just want to eat your hair. That's, what That's true. I was thinking about the fact that we will poop this hair. We won't be able to text each other do, when it happens. Do you? Okay, we'll we'll <laughs> we'll, we'll figure out the the keepsake thing <laughs> another day. But I appreciate your guys' eagerness to. So so unfortunately, yeah, we we'll. We'll come to communications. Will open in eight days. That's what you guys are saying. We so we're not eating the hair. Can they send each other emojis? We could drink each other's blood. Down for that too. <laughs> no emojis. That could be fun. We are. Um, we actually have a nurse in back that will take blood, and uh, oh. we'll drink it. Mm. Bring them out. Come out. Bring the the uh, bring the IV. Oh, you want me to no, I'm kidding. I don't. Cody, know. you got a, you got a needle on you. No, I don't. In the Give car? Me those Zempic needles. I just sold my last box on the way here. What do you sell it for? Uh, seven fifty to a thousand dollars. Damn. <laughs> good for you. Hey, the that's gotta be a good business. Like inflammation's far- high. Well, now people are gonna say seven fifty because because you said that you Both. negotiate. You should yes. just get that. Out of- well, if you buy more than two, I do seven fifty. Okay, you do. If you a buy price one, break? yeah, I do a price break. And how long does each one of those last? A month. Okay. Yeah. And and um. Um. How does it compare profitability wise to other drugs you've sold? Like, well, like, safer. It's not an less risk. So less, less risk. Real time. That's huge. Yeah. So. But like money wise, it's not as good. Oh, it's good. It's good. It seems like it's. I really just don't good. have enough. Yeah, you don't have enough. That's the problem. You don't have enough. <laughs> yeah. There's got to be a way for you to acquire a whole bunch of it. Break into a hospital. Break into a pharmacy. Well, there's got to be like Indian pharmacies or Mexican pharmacies. No, but we, want, we don't want to sell Mexico. people stuff that's... I mean, not we. Uh, well, me. a lot of the shit's made there anyway. They're <laughs> Allegedly. Good. I'm a podcaster. Well, listen, I'm, I'm not doing of none of this shit. I'm yeah. just giving Cody... You know, I'm just saying, Cody, let's, let's scale this bit. But no, all scale this it. stuff is quality stuff from doctors it's prescribed he gets it from pharmacies Cody's finest yeah we're not going to indian pharmacies and yeah. we no. that he's you, not going don't over do, there don't, i want to keep my me. potency yeah. and everything good nice we don't no want cut people it. injecting we don't cut water it. Cut it. pickles we yeah. don't didn't you guys just realize that injecting soda is bad or something yeah, yeah. I, turns out you can't inject diet coke into your we really yeah. tried to make I it i wish work. i could i got close i got close to it yes yeah, I got what? Cancer, yes. You can't uh, inject diet coke. You cannot. What happens? Well, so apparently it's not the. I don't. Okay, so we had to make a few caveats. We said it's flat, so there's no carbonation. It's it's artificial sweetener, so the problem became that it's too acidic. So then we had to um, make it about fifteen percent soda. And we this was the conversation we had with ChatGPT. At that point, she conceded that it might be safe. But what would happen if you just mainline straight Diet Coke? Uh, if it was enough, it would probably, I mean, it would definitely cause some, probably some organ would, would failure. Your, you ever see Requiem for a Dream where that, like, necrotic, you know what I'm talking about? Necrotic uh, The soda, yeah. yeah. The Diet Coke arm. That'll happen. <laughs> I don't know. I don't know. I we can ask you. you no, know, I pump. think we, we know uh, it, it, it said it would be fatal. It would kill you. Potentially, you never know. It seemed pretty different. Should we I test could the make waters? It. I can make it. Is death so bad? <laughs> Should we test the waters? Are you down? Uh, I got a marathon that. Sunday. Maybe okay, after yeah. the marathon. Yeah. Okay. Fair. <laughs> well, um, I I think it's wonderful. I think I'm so happy you guys had fun, and it's very it's very encouraging. Very encouraging, and it's so nice you live in LA too. That's that's. Oh, it's so it makes it so much more convenient. Yeah. I'm sure. Are you gonna come out and cheer for us during the marathon? Wait, when when is it? It's Sunday. A Sunday. I'm gonna be flying back from. I'm going to Florida tomorrow. Oh, okay. That's okay. I'm leaving at like three in the morning. <laughs> That's all right. Damn, you're yeah. gonna miss this first if, event. Well, if you're li- are you, you're not live streaming it, are you? No. I was gonna say if you're live streaming, it, I'll watch it. Just gonna be running it. Damn. Yeah. Be cool if I could though. If you were there with like a sign, yeah, with, like a lock of your hair I love on the you, sign. Jeff. Yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> 
eat my hair. You want the guitar come... at the finish line? Yeah, oh, he would. Yeah, he said he wanted me to bring my guitar on the date. I thought, well, if you wanted to. He loved that. He loved the yeah. guitar. I noticed that. Yeah. He really did. I got it on my background. <laughs> oh, can you see I it? I had it. Um... You see the girls X'd out? Who's X? Oh, who's X out? The two. Where's my camera? Oh, no. The two that we had yeah, to. Um, where you see my background? Yeah. I had the, from it's the Barbie blank. movie when they yeah, sang sorry, Push. <laughs> I had it like burned into my brain, like never take a guitar on a date and sing to somebody. I know that's usually yeah. a major faux pas. But uh, like, but I Jeff would love it if somebody did that for me. Do, do you personally. play an instrument? I used to play, um, I played guitar for a while. I haven't yeah. in, in a I think while. it's pretty cool to play an instrument. Yeah. I don't play. It's the, I think I've always wanted to play piano personally, but yeah. I never, I just never put in the work to learn it. But yeah. I did learn how to play guitar. Um, Jeff is showing. There it is. We got it. Woo. We got it. Down to three. Woo. <laughs> Woo. Um, guys, I want to, I want to thank you guys so very much. It's yes. been a joy. Thank you thank for you. coming and spending the day with us. And Jeff, thank you. Thank I, I, you. I love to see you. I love thank to see you smiling, that. Jeff, and to see hope in your eyes. Thank you. It's wonderful. And Cody, it's always a Follow pleasure, my good friend, Cody. I was Ozempic King. I love you, Ethan. Me too, man. We, we're good friends. Stay now. safe out there. Thanks, bro. You too. Crazy world. Me too. I'm watching my back. <laughs> yeah. I'm watching out for I'm people like you. I'm watching your back, yeah. and I don't. Nobody's watching my back, but I can handle it. We'll watch it. We'll, we'll I'll, I'll, yeah, we're watching. I'll get a, a PI to watch your back. There you go. Aww. Look uh, at that. Bro, <laughs> nice. He's moving in with me, Jeff. Yeah. There you go. I'm moving to <laughs> Bel Air. He knows where I live. See you later, Hollywood. <laughs> nice seeing you, bro. Me and Cody, we've we have such a nice blossoming friendship. Who would have thought? Which is the, thought really with, the with all of story us. of all yeah, exactly of all of us. Um really nice meeting you, Morgan. Yes, and, uh, really I nice look meeting you too. To it. All right. All right. Thank you, Jeff. Thank You're you. Man. Good luck with your thing. I hope that all works Love out you, good brother. for you Thanks guys. Thanks for doing this for me again. And um we'll see you next week. Happy St. Patty's Day. I'm gonna, on Monday, on Monday. Yeah. Have fun. Be safe. Good luck out there. Talk to you soon, buddy. <coughs> next week, right? On what? When's the next day? Wednesday. Next Wednesday. Next Wednesday. <laughs> and Gabe, thank you to you too. Gabe, thank you so much, man. All right. It's uh, you are so funny. You you were so funny. And you are so fun. Oh, look at the balloons. He's celebrating. I love you. I appreciate you. I love you. You're the best. I love you, Ethan. Woo. 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 Yeah. Woo. 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 That was fun. <laughs> three thups. Three thups. Three piece. I don't know. Did you send in the wolf? Have a great yeah. weekend, Gabe. I really do appreciate you so much. And I, and I want everybody to go to Cameo. And get something for their loved one there from Uncle Gabe. Yeah. Three up. Uncle Gabe, everybody. We love you, Gabe. See you next I week, Gabe. You, you guys are the best. You're the best. <laughs> All right. I was. I mean. Ow. I gotta say. I think you you be you'd be happy to to admit that it's just, it's just going so great. Oh yeah, that was lovely. I mean, that was, was lovely. Morgan is so fun, and uh, the video came together so good. Congrats again! I, we have a we have a legitimate Cam. top three in these tremendous dates. I'm just I, I'm just uh, so inspired. Yep. Well, you know, it ain't over till the fat lady sings. What are you eating? I also want to say thank you very much Chips? to Ian for helping with oh. the edit. He helps. Like it was like fifty fifty him and I. Yeah, yeah, they were in here slamming yesterday. Yeah. Cam Cam crushed it as usual. I want to give a special recognition to. Um, Ian, Cam, and Sam. Ian and Ian and Sam have been working on planning this whole thing and executing it. And like I said, they were off on Wednesday during the show taking care of that. So you guys have been on your shit, and I love that. So thank you. Thank you. I, I told Jeff, because I was monitoring the audio on the boats, and I started zoning out because the water, as the sun was going down, the swans, because we were on a swan boat too. And I told I was like, I was just watching a rom-com <laughs> pull out there. Hmm. I started zoning out on what I was even there for. It's so exciting. It was really nice. Yeah, the good the vibes were very good. Um 
So uh, Jeff mentioned St. Patty's. Last year we had a really fun drunk episode. And um, we were wondering if we'll do it St. Patty's tomorrow. Sunday. Sunday. So we're going to do it on Monday. We'll have a very special top of the morning letter. Yes. Yes, dude. Yes. He's fucking doing it. <laughs> Let's fucking go. You know I'm a river man. dancer. Wow, that was good. Thank you, bro. <laughs> I'm river dancing to Lizzie in a box. So that'll be fun. Anyone else going to join me on uh, the festivities? On Monday? Yeah, I'll drink. Uh, or some I Irish smashed, carb but I'll, I'll partake a Good bit. for you. Anyone else? Of course. Old black of course and loves with me all the way. I, you were you got the drunkest with me last time, right? Or was, <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Probably. Or maybe not last time, uh, Patty's day, but last time we drank, I did get quite. He passed that on the couch. <laughs> uh, I, I, I mean, I took a nap. Yeah. Yeah. You took yeah. a. Right. Um, you passed. I want to give a little bit. It's kind of off topic, but it's just on my mind. I want to give a little bit of shout out to the President of the United States, Joe Biden, the State of the Union speech. <laughs> He made, a big <laughs> complaint. Is good. he made a special note <laughs> to complain about how many chips are in the chip bag and how it just gets less and less. And I got to say, I got to, you know, you know, I love the cuddle chips, but I got to call them out. You got to call out the people that you love. What? I've only, I just opened these. I've had a few kettle chips. I mean, look at this. It's basic. It's like here down. What is this? What is a this? Big All of this up here. Do we have the chip soundbite? I mean, he's not wrong. Like, they're I, fucking us. They're dude. making the bag smaller and more puffy. And and frankly, you know, are it's, you really saving that much money from a few fucking chips? Yeah. This has been his platform for a while too. He made a same statement on Super Bowl Sunday. He was very pissed about the chip chip to bag ratio. Well, what what as president, what can he do about it? Is there is there a presidential? Who's the bully pulpit? Is you there know? an executive uh, action he can take to ensure a, a fair distribution of chips? I think he just can shame them. That's all. That's all he can really do. I think that we need an executive order. Guess what? Gross the economy. <laughs> if you're anything like me, you like to be surrounded by a snack or two while well, watching just the like game. Just like you. You know, when buying snacks for the game, you might have noticed one thing: sports drinks bottles are smaller. Bag of chips is fewer chips. <laughs> They're is still real. charging it just as much. <laughs> and as an ice cream lover, I mean, frankly, me it's probably good politics. This is this is the kind of issues real inside. Americans care about: the size of their fucking Oreos. Dude, look at reduced. that dislike bar, though. I can't believe this. What? Oh, How they're this? lying. <laughs> Partisan no. hacks. Dude, you know you're upset too. It is you know such you're hackery. Okay. They go, oh, what? How dare you care about that when when the border? It's like, dude, Why? you know what's going to help us care about the border? Put the portal. Keep it good snacks at bay. That we can focus, right? Why? Keep, keep, you know what I mean? Let's keep them chips. And frankly, the lack of chips in my bag does upset <coughs> me more than the border. You're pissed. Yeah, that takes years. I off don't care life. about all the immigrants. Let them in. Just fix the fucking. If they if, do, they have this. kettle. Co- do they have kettle chips? Yeah. The immigrants. Then I, let them in. Let mm-hmm. them in. Since we're talking to Joe Biden, can I can I say something? They Chuck Schumer is proposing to ban Zinn. I don't want them to ban Zen. <laughs> Wait, what? Yeah, I noticed. I, I saw. Why I, does he I want to ban Zen? Zen? I love Zen. Uh, it, helped me, it helped me quit. Um, why do they want to ban Zen? I don't know, because they're just half senders, bro. You think Straight that's up. Right? Chuck Schumer is for sure a half sender. Can I get one of those? Wasn't Chuck Schumer. You do it, pussy. You want Chuck one? Schumer, yeah, like, the big soda Give band one of those. pusher, too. Isn't he like one of the primary proponents of that? Wait, wasn't there like, I just had a memory of like a soda tax and people were going like out of state to buy soda. That's what I'm saying. I, I you, think Chuck Schumer had something to do with that. Chuck Schumer. It's one of the super strong band. ones. <laughs> like the one I had last this time? This isn't rogue. It's just, it's oh, you get, you rogued me last time. You rogued me last time. WMD'd me. Zach, you got to learn the official way to share a snooze. You hold the, the snooze with one hand, yeah. you squeeze it and you open it with one hand. That's the move in Sweden. I'm sure you you sure about that? Show him love. I don't know if I don't I don't use snooze. I think it's fucking. Nasty. You never snoozed out? Nah. You're no, snoozing yeah. on snooze. You, yeah. These are tighter. That's fucking sucks. Fucking American bullshit. On <laughs> yeah. What the fuck? 
Oh shit! Dumb shit, it shit, dude. <laughs> dumb shit, <shittiot. laughs> Dumb <laughs> shit, <shittiot. laughs> you dumb ass shit, Huh? No, I um, you gave me one to try the other day. That I gotta be honest. That was rough. This one's better, Dan. It's yeah. more smaller lip filler. The the last one was crazy. Is this it really one. that different? I won't press you, but it is better. Well, like I'm kind of curious, but just try that it. Other pussy. One, that other one was <laughs> terrible. It, this one's better. I did both. This one's better. Just try it. I'm trying it. Just try it. it. You want it, Dan? <laughs> You're not gonna get addicted. Just try <laughs> it. I saw some people say they tried it because of us. Don't try. It's fucking <laughs> yeah, bullshit. don't do it's that. It's addicting. It's well, I mean, if you yeah, don't do bad habit. Listen, if it's you've right. ever taken a nicotine product, don't. Oh yeah, yeah. Don't, if don't you smoke don't cigarettes or vape or something, this is a good alternative. I'm just saying, Zen. Like, if you're already hooked, it, I, it's a safer alternative. Yeah, seems like there's it. no tobacco in it. But, I got uh, you nicotine gum and wait, there's no tobacco in it. No, it's just nicotine. It's oh, nicotine salt. Oh, yeah. interesting. Huh. Yeah, um, well, yeah, the other one I put on my gum and almost immediately felt a pretty significant burning sensation. Isn't it great? No, yeah, it feels I like no, cancer. I really didn't like that at all. Yeah. This one, I'm starting to feel that come in. You're right. It's, it, it's it, a tingle. It wasn't instant. Yeah. It's a nice tingle with this. I would still say that this is overall not, it's not good. I'm taking it out. Oh, that's okay. very unzen, bro. Yeah, you're not... Yeah, sorry. You, it's a nice Zinachino. It's a Zimbabwe. You know? <laughs> the, Zim, the Zimbabwe. <laughs> Zimbabwe. <laughs> what? Yeah, I actually, I and now that I took it out, it, it stings, dude. It's not, yeah, it that's not good. I'm so used to this shit now, dude. Well, I'm sure. I rip I'm through sure. about a can of these a day. Um, update. Apparently, the driver stole our food. Yeah. Dude, we have the worst <sighs> this yeah. food This has happened to <laughs> me like 10 times. What do you that's mean crazy. they stole it? Is there a photo it. of it delivered? No, so I got notified to go meet them because I have to give them the PIN number. And I went and I stood outside for like 10 minutes. No one shows up, but then I got a notification saying, enjoy your order, it's been delivered. Oh. So, but I don't know how they get past the uh, PIN. Right. That's weird, I don't know. I don't Wait, understand. yeah, what the fuck? But I tried to call um, their number multiple times and it was like the dun 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 dun. Like disconnected or some shit. And and there was no photo of it. No, there was no photo or anything. So mm. they didn't leave it. I looked everywhere. I I wonder if people when they just quit <laughs> their job, they just, they just bail quit. with like a tasty looking order and call it a day. Dude, if that food looks good enough, I'd just take it home. I ain't gonna lie. You'd steal someone's. Food. You just well, bail. That's fucked up, love. Yeah. That's We've, fucked up. We what do you mean? I make minimum it. wage. If like I, you know, if I, that shit looking bussin', it's a big order. I'm going home. I mean, I feel like that. <laughs> I feel like you only get to do that one, one time. You right. get to do that one yeah, time. Yeah, but you know, some some meals are to to quit your job for. What 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 what, what <laughs> would you go for? A Wendy's meal? Is that worth losing your job over? No, it'd have to be like. <laughs> What's well, a lot of food though, Dan? It was a lot of Wendy's. It was yeah, a lot of Wendy's. How much was that order, Sam? Uh, one eighty one. Jesus Christ! Yeah, Sam, I mean, it's almost two hundred dollars worth of Wendy's. You can resell that on the secondhand food market too. <laughs> So what are you talking about? You don't know. You don't know nothing, bro. Fucking shit idiot. Fucking shit idiot. Fast doing food that costs that <laughs> much. <laughs> when did fast food get so expensive? Jesus, dude, my bro. gum is still tingling from that. Isn't it? it only in, no, I liked it. The, for anyone that would, that's a full sender right there. For dude. anyone that at any point was like, oh, they shouldn't be pushing tobacco <clears throat> products. I'm gonna do the opposite right now. That fucking suck, do not try Zen. Yeah, don't, don't not try. Good. I'm saying if you already have an addiction, I love Zen. Yeah, yeah. I guess so. Yeah, don't do it, man. If you're, like, for example, if you're already addicted to heroin, right. then <laughs> it's fine to move up to fentanyl. Fentanyl, or Trank. Trank is the new I'm, one. I'm no, kidding. it should be the opposite. I'm kidding. No, but isn't comparison going the opposite direction? No, fentanyl is more strong, I thought, than heroin. I know, but isn't the Zin? The Zin would be like methadone. Right. It's to like yeah. get off. Right. Of. True. Right. We went the wrong way. Right. So, so if you're addicted to fentanyl, let's take a step down to injecting heroin. <laughs> right. <laughs> natural. Whatever. Natural. Wherever you're at, it's all relative. Just one step down. There it is. That's what it's all about. We're, we're walking back down to earth. I hear the two of them. They're still snoozing. And you know what? I'm going to let them have their moment. 
imagine me going over there and being like, guys, guys, guys. Break it the fuck up. And I'm gonna, I'm gonna send someone to chaperone you guys to make sure you leave separately. I mean, should Sam go <laughs> over there and just kind of monitor? Mm, I wanna let them have a moment. I, I feel that they're really connected and I wanna give them some space too. Jeff Jeff left. Morgan's talking to oh, okay. uh, oh. girlies. Yeah. Oh, <laughs> we're having, oh, yeah, we're having a party. Okay, we're like, oh, okay. well, have at it. Have at it then. That changes things. But they were having a special moment with the girlies. Let me say, how the fuck do you spend two hundred dollars at fucking Wendy's? Well, I like don't know. People ordered. Well, also, it's more expensive when you order it, and delivery fees, tip, all of that stuff. I think it was just like a normal meal for like. I mean, I didn't get anything, but I think almost everybody else <laughs> did. So yeah, that's a lot of meals. I, I'm surprised that, but I think on, on like Postmates, the, the amount gets inflated like so hard. Do we have a subscription on that one, Sam, for the monthly? Uh, mm. We do, yes. Okay, yeah. Because that's crazy. That saves a lot of money, too. Yeah, true. Um, somebody mentioned Suboxone. That's like, um, have you heard of that drug? What? Suboxone. No, but it sounds sick. <laughs> Sub it sounds like a drug from Star Wars. <laughs> it's, um, it's a drug they give um, uh, opiate addicts to help wean them off. Suboxone? Suboxone. Suboxone. And um, one of my, someone I live with when I, when I was with Ela, we lived with this guy in college, and he had a, a prescription to Suboxone, and he used to give us some, and it would it was so fucking strong. This shit was meant to get you off. It would Damn. fuck me up. Like oh, I see what you're saying. Like yeah, well, I mean, it's still uh, like a or like a. It's not a narcotic. Whatever, right? I think it's no? like a synthetic or I don't know what. But like, it is a narcotic. Oh, it is. It is an opioid. Well, there you go. So I don't know what's so great about that because that shit's gnarly. Um, and what? So they, it's like this orange pill, and it has this orange flavor. You're supposed to let it dissolve in your mouth. And to this day, because it used to make me puke, I still get nauseous when I taste that orange flavor. Oh, really? it, it, it's ingrained. It's ingrained in me just how uh -huh. vile that shit was. Right. Huh. She was for, um, it helped me get off, people are saying. That's interesting. I wonder how that works, if it's a narcotic. I was prescribed Suboxone to get sober. Seven years sober here. Wow. Hell it's yeah, working brother. for people. Well, I have to imagine, yeah, usually with that, the whole idea is that the, um, the come off isn't as intense as is that what it is? something like heroin. Right. This person says, I've been on Suboxone for five years. It changed my life. Suboxone saves lives. Wow. Good. That's awesome. That's really great, right? And I think the thing is, is if you're like a hair, if you're like a heroin user, um, your tolerance is so high. Like you got a lot out of it. I don't <coughs> think it gets them nearly as high as a, as a hit of heroin. Oh, this person says it has an opioid blocker in it. Oh, hmm. interesting. Now listen, I'm I'm not I'm not an addict, so I took that shit and I was like, oh, I was like fucked for like 24 hours. Right. Jeez. <laughs> it was fun. Don't get me wrong. Okay. Time? It's a dark you, you, irony that this drug designed to get people off of opioids is getting abused. It's of course it is. Yeah. But it didn't get me addicted to anything. Fair enough. That that happened when I moved to Israel. Fair enough. Unrelated to uh, Suboxone. All right. Wow, lots of love for Suboxone. That's great. Shout out. Har harm reduction, I guess is a good way to put it. Right. Someone said in chat. We love. We do love harm yeah. reduction. Like um, you're sober, but you know. You know what I like more than harm reduction? Fun induction. Yo, we let's turn the we're fun about to up. do. Turn um. it up. <laughs> Harm's induction. Um. So let's see. So I, I didn't ever really debrief on um the fresh and fit follow up. There's actually some really funny right. stuff here that that uh, I'd love to talk about. How have you been? Um, how have you been like coping with um, the fallout of being owned so thoroughly in the marketplace of ideas? It's been hard, especially yeah. knowing that they yeah. erased their their vod from YouTube, and um, I realized well, that was really actually very kind of them to do to not bring more attention to how embarrassed you were. I knew in that moment when they had erased it from their channel that I had lost. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's a typical <laughs> sign. Yeah. And the pain was overwhelming. Here's a compilation of uh, the wholesome moments between me and Coconuts. I realized that I have a much better uh, oh, so uh, pet name for him. 
it's now Coco Melon because he has the brain of a child. And I mean that as a compliment. Creative, you know, childlike outside, wonder. Outside box thinking. Mm -hmm. So we call him Coco Melon now. <laughs> That's great. I did. Thanks for noticing. I appreciate that. Good job with that. Thank you, bro. Appreciate you saying that. So, you know, I'll give you this, bro. You're, you're a comedian. You're funny. I'll give you that. Thank you. He's I think you're nice. Walter, I do think you're nice. I think you have a kind heart. I swear to God, I feel like you just got like in with the with the wrong people. <laughs> you have a sweet heart, Walter. You don't have to be to live this life. Uh, I mean, I think you're very, very versatile. <laughs> I'm versatile. I appreciate that. That's I think that's a compliment. Coconuts. I just came up from Barbados, too. So that's, that's actually hilarious. <laughs> <laughs> and they were tasty, man. Coconuts were tasty. I love oh, coke. Oh man, coconuts are phenomenal. One of the best. Nut. They're a nut, right? I mean, <laughs> Apparently, it's not a nut. You have a service dog, no? and he's so cute. He or she, I don't know, so cute. This is your dog, right, Coco? It's a hero. There you go. My boy, hero, man. Love that dog. Um, but Thank anyway, you, my, my thing was like, if Very you're like a dog. passionate dog owner, lover, like you can't be that bad of a person. So, for me, <laughs> I don't so. think I don't think Myron has a dog, which makes sense to me, but. Coconuts has a dog that he's obsessed with and he brings it everywhere. To me, there's a tenderness, there's a there's a love there. Sure. A shit. nurturing um element. Right. I would agree. That I think speaks to the true softy that he is underneath. Yeah. Uh, I love your dog. Ethan, can I ask you a question, bro? Yeah, go ahead. I think, honestly speaking, bro, you're a great person. At heart. You busted your nut there right at the top, eh, Walter? <laughs> I busted a little bit. Coco, Come you gotta chill. You gotta hit that island breeze, man. You're getting emotional. Oh, bro. I love it. It's chill. You gotta pace oh, yourself. Big, 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 big nuts. You, big you, nuts, right? You're married, bro. Good job on that. That is a compliment <laughs> to you because, obviously speaking, getting married nowadays is not easy. How do you get to make your wife happy? How do you maintain a good relationship? Who want to hear your opinion on this? Uh, it's about maintaining. It's fun. I, I, sorry to break the mood, but it's like, what would you guys know about that? Never been married, ass losers. Excuse uh, me. Like mutual respect. I know. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. What I, are sorry. you doing? Should I button that out? Per maybe. I mean, oh, no, we no, had, Coco and I say you're we're watching this beautiful compilation of your budding friendship with your new friend Coco here, <laughs> and um, I just don't know why you would inject that kind of negativity. Budding. Why'd you do that? I'm so sorry. Why'd you do that? Let's get back into the love. Okay. Listening, good communication, okay. and uh, genuine encouragement. <laughs> I think being okay. caring about the things that they care about and supporting them okay. and treating them like equals, I think, is uh, the paramount uh, qualities in maintaining a good, healthy relationship. <laughs> You're so smart, bro. What's the word? Just real quick. What's the word? Love. Uh, Y'all, Walter's the man. <laughs> you look so silly. I want to put little you know, fluffy pink so handcuffs on you. We wish you my thing together, for real. I don't care about Myron anymore. Myron, you're not- my, Hey, Myron, can you quiet down? We're trying to talk to Walter. Myron, shit, let the men talk to you. I want to talk to Walter, who I find more, much more interesting. Walter, we should do a mukbang. I think it would be fun. I do. Two guys just eating and shooting the shit. You look so silly. I would think we could have some, like, coconut curry. <laughs> That'd be fun. Oh, amazing edit there. Yeah, shout out to um, Arthur's dad. Arthur's dad. Shout out to Arthur. I know this guy. He big ups Arthur. Big up Arthur's dad. He runs a super good clip channel on TikTok. Big up. I talked to him. Oh, oh nice. I love yeah. that man. I love yeah, those he's, guys. He's one of the tops. I think the biggest uh, clip account. Should we give him a shout out? Yeah, let's do it. Uh, it's H3 Podcast Daily Clips. H3 nice. Podcast Daily shout out Clips Arthur. On shout TikTok. out Arthur. Dad. He's, he actually helped me out a decent amount. He's a really good guy. Nice. Yeah. Nice. Guy. Um, we had a ton of memes posted on the subreddit um, that I wanted to share with you guys. All very funny. We showed this one on the show, but it's so good. What would you want to order? Uh, you tell me. <laughs> yeah, pretty much. Never ask a woman her age, a man his salary, and Walter his answer. <laughs> <laughs> Me when anyone asks how my day was. Do your research, bro. <laughs> that is very good. Me when I know another OK Ethan moment is developing. <laughs> your smile there. It's so funny. Um, you tell me. She wasn't drinking. It was water. Women lie about their age. It was meant to look like she was drinking to appear cool. The final step actually they forgot was have you haven't you ever drink Dude, done underage Haven't drinking. you ever drunk underage? Yeah. Um, 
This is just the. I, this is like a Simpsons meme, right? It is. Yeah. Homer's brain. Um, every single time Ethan asks coconuts a question, it's a wrap. You tell me. <laughs> It's a wrap. To be fair, the, it's, it's a, a wrap. wrap was mostly Zach. That was Zach. I'd it's say. A wrap. that. It's a wrap. It is a wrap. <laughs> Pictures like that, it's a wrap, bro. It's a wrap. Man's ego is shattered. What are you gonna do when your when your wife divorces you, <laughs> your mom? Yeah, that that was out of pocket. I apologize for that. Crap. That was kind of fucked up. Immature joke that I did. Yeah. He, I feel he forced me into that though. Yeah. He's like, what are you going to do when you get divorced? What's the first thing you're going to do? Your mom. Pretty much. Pretty good. Um, bro kept saying, I knew you were going to do this and still had no answer prepared. I mean, right? Well, he did have all of his uh, racism helmets ready to go. His little collection of racist tats. Uh, when you True. him out on the, uh, he the did rabbi thing. So he, he did, did some preparation. Mm -hmm. He had mm -hmm. them right there. He's like, I knew you were going to ask me about this. Look, Chinese hat, <laughs> a Native American headdress. I got them all. Yeah. I true. got them all. <laughs> true. Moments after the OK Ethan, Jeff stole my shit. This is a joke, right? There's no way that that's No, real. Jeff was watching. No, Jeff was he in was chat. in the chat. Wait, he actually said yeah. that? I, I believe that. It oh, was my a real God. Chat. Yeah. I love him. He's a good dude. This whole thing has been nice. <laughs> <laughs> me and Cody truly are best friends now, by the way. There's a there's a camaraderie there. Yeah, it's there's real. a kinship that's it's real. blooming and beautiful. <laughs> this romance music has gotten to a point where it makes me giggle every time Zach starts playing it now. I can't stop looking at my cool ass jacket. Wow. I think it would look so sick with the pants matching. Mm -hmm. Oh, I love the set together. Very <laughs> Travis Kelsey-esque. Mmm. Mmm. Yeah. Do we love mm. him still? Or is he cringe? No, I mean like he's cringe, he's cringe in a sweet un- Bothered. Is he? Ring mm, yeah, Viva Las Vegas clip. There was one that was worse. Worse? Yeah, it was. Do you know what I'm oh, talking about? I don't. I don't I, well, there was another going, drunken maybe. Mike moment. Um, um, was it at a club or something? It was so bad. Somebody <laughs> please look that up. He's like screaming Let's at see. the head coach of the Super Bowl too. That, that was, so was that was crazy. That was yeah. Um, we have a new OK Ethan from Fresh and Fit, of course. That it's never a debate without one of those. Let's take a look. Tell me what you think. By the way, and we can go over that. Not as good. I do believe you did sexually assault her, Myron, and we can go over that. Oh, she didn't no. even want to say that. Yeah, wow. I know. That's and I, I know exactly. So that's why I'll say it. I'll say it for her. You'll say it for her. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> okay, Ethan. <laughs> they really didn't. <laughs> oh, that was a good one. Yeah. Okay, Ethan. Okay, Ethan. Did they not think that I was going to say that? <laughs> okay. Ethan. Like, no, bro. I, I stand on that shit. The way, and we can go over that. He does I a do silly laugh. You did sexually assault her, Myron. And we can go over that. You don't laugh like that. That's not a real laugh. Mm -mm. Like, why are you gyrating? Why are you bouncing? <laughs> okay, Ethan. Am I believe you did do we sexually have in the doc the Myron? other one? And we can go over that. <laughs> she didn't even want to. How does work? There's another clip of him fake laughing. No, there's a clip of him real laughing that I saw uh, when um, when you made fun of Walter <laughs> and Myron started laughing, and then he right. like he, he like did this to like hide it. Let me see if I can find it. Yeah, yeah, hides okay, the mic. It's great. <laughs> yeah, I always thought coconuts were nuts. Is not, uh, but apparently it's a droop. A droop. I never heard of a droop. What, yeah. What else uh, is a droop? You know? Oh, thank you, Ian. Oh, thank you, Ian. Yep, you can come to Barbados for. You can meet at a, a, a restaurant. You can meet at uh, Walter's house. You can meet Walter's mom. She's a great lady right here. You can uh, meet at. Uh, actually, I don't know anything about your mom. She might be. She might be bad. But I doubt. <laughs> I think what happened. Sweet. I wasn't sure. I, I don't know if that's what happened. Uh, it might have just looked like uh, it. Sure looks like great trying lady to stifle right left. You can uh, meet at. Uh, actually, I don't know anything about your mom. She might be. She might be bad. But I doubt it. I think <laughs> she's very sweet laughing. based on what I know about you. I mean, it's fun. It's definitely nice to think that caught him giggling. That I was. I was making him giggle. And caught you giggling. I Fuck that you. shit! <laughs> now, nah, man, you, yeah. you giggle like a little boy. Fuck out um, of here! But actually, so yeah, they made it private on YouTube, and they continued on Rumble. So after we hung up, there's some really good moments of them coping hard, y'all. Let's take a look. 
No, uh, no, you're then. just showing your immaturity level, my friend. Uh, just making yourself look bad, which is hilarious. You are showing up, and they threw us out. All right, awesome, guys. Yo, guys, that was fucking awesome. <laughs> I mean, <laughs> they tried so they hard, tried so hard to dude. pin us on this specific topic, and it's funny because we were prepared. Yeah, we, we knew what they were going to do, man. You know, it's, it's <sighs> Didn't seem like it. I mean, why was he kept like, you know, I really thought that you were going to... How are they pro- have a serious? Well, com- you know what? I'm not even gonna try. Yeah, don't analyze. <laughs> don't. It's I'm fucking hilarious, man. This is Andrew Schultz part two, bro. 100%. Yeah, well, even worse. I, I don't know what happened. I, I know they had a thing with Andrew Schultz, but I'm not sure what. Hmm. They went on a show and then Andrew started grilling them about something. I don't know. It's a wrap. Yeah, it's a wrap. Yeah. Even worse faith. Um, worse. And, and, worse. And you know, faith. it's, it's interesting faith. because no faith. I have zero faith. How do you, what's Only, worse than no faith? I'm I an atheist. Faith. Anti faith. I'm against. I'm, I'm against the faith. Ethan says he wants to have these debates, etc. And then he does these juvenile. Did he just call me a Jew? <laughs> okay, th- there was one part I, I went back and watched it <clears throat> at the top of the episode. Maybe I'm overthinking this, but you were talking about Aiden Ross, and he made a comment about you guys being the same. Uh, Me and Aiden? Yeah. Wait, Aiden or Andrew Tate? No, 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 Aiden. It was Aiden? And he's like, it was something along, he's like, you would know that. He think he was making a Jew thing? I think it was a Jew thing. Oh, we got to pull the clip. Right. Then. I remember that too. But was oh. he referring to you being a fed or something like that, kind of? Or We got we to gotta roll it back. I remember. It was right at the start. Um, if somebody uh, pulls it, well, let's watch it. Right it, it was about Child him snitching, like they, and then like he said, you would know or something. I would never snitch. I have never and will never. <laughs> Not a rat. <laughs> I'll die in prison. Things, and so it's I, just like, congratulations, you made yourself look like an idiot. Once again. That whole show, you know what he was doing? Clip farming. Oh yeah, of course he was. Clip farming. Yeah, I mean, maybe a little bit. But that's not really my <laughs> point. I, I figure that's what they do, legit, when they come on here, because it's like... Uh-huh. But again, I don't even know if they got any useful clips out of that. Because most of them are like, really? You think we give underage girls alcohol? <laughs> I don't think that, you know, you don't want that clipped. Dude, it's just water, we swear. That's all he was doing. Yeah, and that's why I'm glad that we had the debate on our side, full, uninterrupted. Yeah. So you guys can see, this is what he does. Takes a clip. By the way, these beta guys, they asked permission if they could do it. At first, it was supposed to be our show, and then he said, do you mind if we stream? I said, go ahead, buddy. <laughs> but he knew to check with me first. Also, he did. What he's explaining, like, we wanted to air it live so you could see the truth or whatever. I mean, we, it was live. It wasn't edited on our side. We didn't erase it either. Right. So. Okay. I don't know. <laughs> okay, then. Spins that out of context, tries to make something sound that isn't true, and... That's what he does. That's what H3 has done for years. And this is why why'd you call? they've been declining so hard. That's why mm. they lost 10,000 subscribers on that day, which I just pulled <laughs> it up on screen real quick. That's after the that funniest podcast. shit. This is why they're losing <laughs> subscribers and they're buying subscribers. This is why Wait, they're just bu- falling well, out buying of subscribers. They- Wait, well, hold on. If I'm, I'm losing and buying? Oh, that sounds dire. What? It's awesome. Falling off. Significantly. I'll and t- everybody knows it. I'll tell you this, bro. Um... He on that day in particular, right? Oh, Can you no. show up? Highlight it? Yo, he didn't, he didn't. By the way, it updates it. They changed it. It used to be um, right. daily, but then they changed it to just update in like 10. What is some in certain incre- increments, depending on how big your channel is? Yeah, 10,000 for us. So, yeah, ten, so every time we lose 10K. Um, but look at all these, Myron. Why aren't you? Look at. Well, like, is this, this, this really is their, how we. Hold do on. It. Do they have a follow up screenshot? Because this is not. Here it says minus 10,000. On the week. And it's on this specific dot here. Okay. You are down! But you can see we do 10K, 10K, 10K. Like, bro, I'm dealing money. But yeah, they're so dumb because that's... Maybe we lost a couple hundred that just made it go over that increment of 10,000. So we didn't <coughs> lose near, nowhere near 10,000. <coughs> you know what happened? Um, I, we actually started going green again around here right before... Um, yeah, I mean, all last year we were actually on a pretty healthy uh, growth spurt. Yep. Oh, until and then it was. Um, oh, just literally Thank me th- saying that I don't think that Israel. Well, 
in my mind anyway. I, it, it seems to be that I don't think that Israeli civilians should be slaughtered, kind of uh, caused a giant riff, apparently. And people couldn't stomach that. So we we say bye bye to them and we wish them well. It's a wrap. He didn't prove oh, any oh, points. That's on that highlight. Yeah, ten thousand gone that but, day. But <laughs> bro, look at the chart. What do you mean? It's a, I'm Mister Fucking Losing, buddy. We losing subs, dude. I got subs to lose. By the way, <laughs> you know what I mean? Oh, yeah. I'm like that dad, just that stepdad giving everybody an allowance. Uh, yeah. Chat. You can see After. what he does. <coughs> he assumes everything. <laughs> on his own biases, and then says, oh, this is the facts. Bro, you know who does that? That's what women do. <laughs> they legit oh, assume. Oh, no, shit, no. That's a woman's game. It's the Jesse, uh, Jesse argument. You're playing a woman's game. He just called me a woman. That's lame. Right. That is so crazy. It sure that is. is so For crazy. what they hear, oh, this must be it, based off my belief. But listen, man, before you... Assume anyone was doing something. I just saw a comment in their chat that said, Ethan is Satan's agent. <laughs> nice. <laughs> Jesus, they have such an interesting fan base. Get all the facts, man. Because Ethan, that's all he does, bro. He assumes from his standpoint, oh, must be. He called you thick, fresh. That's damn right. And I'll fucking stand on that. That's another comment. <laughs> damn right. You know he's thick. Look at him. That's a whole. Christmas ham right there, boy. <laughs> okay, then. <laughs> be a trafficker. You must be a rapist. Bro, come on, dude. Like, like. I never I, said, I, for, I never called anyone a rapist. The bad part is, bro, even if he was in a position where he was accused of doing these things, we would say, you know what? As men, we understand what's happening. We got you, bro. We're going to get the facts first before we accuse you of being a rapist or trafficker. Did not. But in this case. did. Oh, he's talking about Andrew Tate? No. Yeah, he is, for sure. Yeah, he is those things. That's not even a Allegedly. question. Yeah. Bro, he took a major L. By multiple. I'll be honest here, man. <laughs> I can't believe he tried to... Alleged, allegedly by, like, half the world. Um, I have timestamps. Let me check those. I know this whole thing is pretty good. But there's one really... Where's the moment where he says that he was lying on purpose about being religious? Uh, so it's uh, it, there is a timestamp of that. It's uh, it's this one, number two. Actually, I'm not sure if it's number two. Let's see. AB's dealing with the furniture stuff right now, so he uh, out debated them, which is what matters. And hey guys, whenever. He hold on one second. He's adjusting it. We're hey. gonna cover their chat because uh, there's probably gonna be some slurs or something over there. It's Freshly like monogamous. They're so, they're like so invested in this idea that I'm like just about to get divorced. You're good. Um, Zoomed in. It's a wrap. It's a wrap. He was losing. Well, who cares? I don't care. Uh. And guys, I know I act dumb on camera, but it's better to act dumb. People like that, because people like that, bro, they act like all smart. Let them underestimate mighty, you. Yeah. But then for sure. Like retarded. <laughs> this is like, bro. Let like, them underestimate you for sure. Yeah, Mo, for sure. Um, That's so coconut says. He wow. acts dumb mm -hmm. so mm -hmm. that people underestimate him. Yep. And then when it's time to pounce, he does like when and when he came on me and he right. shocked me with his intellect. Uh-huh. Yeah. He did he did shock you with his intellect. <laughs> mm -hmm. Yeah. Yeah. It was well, a little shocking. It was very certainly concerning a, too. <laughs> a, certainly Hurry. a viable strategy coming from uh <laughs> Coco Melon. Fresh to stand out TV interview on grilling. Oh, yeah, bro. <laughs> yo, I, yo, if you guys have not seen Fresh to stand out TV interview, that's how you talk to girls. <laughs> yo, that is one of the best ways for like, when it comes to game. I don't, I don't even want to hear nothing about Fresh being a true Fresh is a trick. No, bro, Fresh <laughs> has true game. I mean, he's a man of God. My bad, my bad. There you go, I'm there sorry. you go. I'm sorry, Fresh. No, no, but like, you know, you're you going to play the part. Yeah, didn't you hear he brings every girl to meet his mom? Crazy he was really, game. he was really sucking him off in that clip, wasn't he? <laughs> yeah. Like imagine, imagine if, if you talk about right, like exactly. That. If your employees uh, were like it. fucking praising you on that level, I mean, imagine half the time we're me. like making fun of you on that show. <laughs> yeah, dude. Imagine my employees praising me or saying anything nice about me. <laughs> I, I do that a lot. I'll be honest. No, I'm kidding. Yeah.
That's you're why the you're man, the golden though. boy. Zach will, Zach will suck your dick a little bit. I'll, I'll suck your dick. I'll cradle the balls. I'll lick your ass. <laughs> That's why I'll always love you. And always. true love, my friend. You gotta do, but again, <clears throat> she he's was feeling you, took bro. a major L, bro. Oh, yeah. She was feeling, she was <laughs> feeling you. She's cool. She hated Myron, but she was feeling you. <laughs> she hated <laughs> she Myron, hated, she she hated Myron, Myron, too. She hated Myron, too. And the other thing, too, that was interesting, they said that we de- deleted the Nick Fuentes uh, thing. We never deleted it. It was never on YouTube to begin yeah, with. Yeah, it was on Rumble. That's an AB thing, but I'm pretty sure. I know what AB, what AB says is that he had a clip time stamped the day before in in the research doc for the Fresh and Fit debate, and then when we were doing a doc check and we were checking, it was taken down, which right. means it was set to private. Yeah, which means that they're lying. They're lying. <laughs> yeah, they would. Yep. They wouldn't lie though. Um, and actually, well, we're probably about to get into this, but I think I probably know why. It might have not actually had anything to do with you. It was that article that coincidentally came out the same oh, day. Oh, shit. Yeah. I forgot. Yeah, yeah dude. Okay, Here, okay. Um, although, so wait, where's the one of him saying he lied about being religious, though? That, I need that. Uh, that's what I was saying. I, I don't... That was somebody on the subreddit that said that. Um, I, okay, I so, so somebody said... I was not able to find that. That after the interview ended, he goes... I lied it to him. I am religious. I was like, well, why are we talking? Why are we talking? Yeah. Like, if you're lying to me about dumb, like, are you a pathological liar? Like, you just lie about dumb shit? What's the point of this conversation? <clears throat> yeah, again, I wish AB was here right at this moment because he knew a little bit more about it. But anyways. So we have. You could uh, say it was uh, bad faith. You might say he was speaking to you in bad faith. Just where's the article uh, here? I just linked it. Uh-huh. Doc. Yeah, so media matters, um, which as I understand it, I'm only saying this because I saw someone else say it. I don't know. They have a track record of really canceling people. Like when like when they do a profile, they get like fucked. Although, uh, they are fairly influential. Uh, I'll remind you that I believe media matters was the <coughs> one that uh, if not broke, significantly spread the Crowder um, abusing his wife's. <laughs> so, but at the same time, the, both of these are, all three of these guys are pretty fringe at this moment. Fresh and Fit is the most mainstream of them. But anyway, the title of the article is Misogynistic Manosphere Influencers Embrace Nazism. It was published on Wednesday, like during the debate. That's wild. Yeah. Influencers who offer dubious lifestyle and dating advice to men are praising Adolf Hitler and Nazis. It's a wrap. <laughs> I wish we had known that this came out. This would have been great to pull up to them. Oh, that would have made them sweat. Yeah. Let me see what they said about... <sighs> I mean, Sneeko's obvious. I don't even need to question that shit. Um, where is the one... Oh, here's Myron and Zerka doing uh, Heil Hitler's. That's vibes. I think that's just... That guy. <laughs> they have their own section if you keep scrolling. <laughs> dude, what the hell, dude? This shit's fucking crazy. Fucking disgusting. Yup. Yeah. Where is our bo- Here he is. Uh, let's see. He's a clip. Yeah, he got some good theories. Yeah. I mean, it's just it's a theory. put up the disclaimer. So, I mean. Disavow. Yep. Disavow. Disavow. We disavow. I'm a Jewish man, and I disavow, and I'm watching this for the disgusting historical preach. record. It's a wrap. There you go. Screening. I mean, she did say it was, I mean, say it was a theory. Yeah, she um, did say that. You know what? We didn't listen to Nick times. theories all night, so we gotta let baby girl be great. Cause this man just said Hitler a good person, so we well, gonna let her be great. Uh, that's true. Uh, uh, no, he, no, he said he did good things. He said he, good he yeah, said yeah. it was equal. It was good people on both sides. He did good things. Is that Kanye? <laughs> I wish. Yeah. Yeah. Hold on, hold on. Stalin. It, 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 here's Stalin the thing. He was a good person. It's a fact that he Bro, actually what? did save the Germany. Why is that? Fu- <laughs> what? He was. He was. You that know. Was cr- yeah, that's crazy. Like that's their producer. Like that's insane. I mean, yeah. Insane. I would never do anything like that. But I mean, imagine if I was just like started burning a cross behind me or something during the conversation. They're such cowards. They, they refuse, won't own it. Yeah, they refuse to stand on the hate that they spew all the time on their show. That's kind of the anti-Semitic playbook, though. They like... Oh, 100%. They, it's all like, I, didn't, I don't know, I, you know what I mean? Yeah. They, they, it's part of the game they play. I, um, I don't talking know. about fucking beta, dude. Like, oh, yeah. and he's like trying to talk about the, like, 
oh, you wouldn't say this to my face or whatever. It's like you are right now speaking to a Jewish man asking you about your comments on the Holocaust and you are bitching out completely. You won't mm-hmm. answer. I, yeah. I, I don't know how you kept your cool during that. I'll be honest. For real. I was like, so... I, was, I was hot back here. <laughs> Honestly, oh I don't take them serious. I mean, they're, they're clowns. I know they're clowns, but still, it's just like the fucking gall of some people. Mm-hmm. I was just really hoping that people were, that it was doing, uh, I want people to see like how fucking, not, that they're actually like Nazis. Right. Yeah. And um, I think they did. Which, that. frankly, even yeah. without them saying anything, anybody watching that, I think, can understand what's going on. Yeah. You have yeah. to be a Economy. true piece of shit. One hundred percent turn around of after World War. Yeah. Oh, that's like deep. That's like final level of of. Well, that documentary that he said L. was based is like it's just goals, just straight up. Yeah, it's pretty vile. It's pretty vile. But at least these guys are like pieces of shit and everybody knows it who's like sane. Um, right. They know it. I They're, think it's worrying that it kind of, because I didn't know they were this like anti Semitic. I didn't know. And I feel like I'm around them so much and I didn't know they went to these great lengths. Well, I was aware that um, like they were willing to have people like Fuentes on their show, yeah. which obviously, but, um, but you know. Uh, the the full extent of uh, again the the tweet about the Europa thing really <laughs> that's GG like that's GG well and you like how he was like um oh yeah I like lots of history movies I was like name one <laughs> he goes okay this other anti Semitic conspiracy <laughs> it's on Rumble <laughs> documentary it, it it just it it pushes the uh, Holocaust denial to a, a mainstream source yeah and I've even seen it on Instagram <clears throat> reels of just just straight up. Mobile. Oh, yeah. There's no TikTok is the worst. Oh, by the way, let's ban that shit. I'm ready. Yeah. Who's ready to ban TikTok? I'm ready. I love. I know you don't want to say goodbye. Yeah. I mean, we're good. Wait, uh, you're on board with it now? What? I'm. Oh, I'm fully on board. Oh, what? Yeah. I'm in. Okay. <clears throat> no, well, like, I'm not that passionate about it, but I just fucking hate it. I don't use it anymore, and like, <laughs> it's it's turned into. It's gotten more and more vile over time. I feel like. Like, when I started using it, I, I don't know. It seemed fun, and, um... No, nah, I was always done. It's all ads. But I don't know. <laughs> and, oh, the, ad, the ads thing is really it's what... all ads. ...brought me off. It's like, if it's not a direct ad, it's a shop. It's about... It's got a commission link to the shop. It's literally every uh, other fucking video. I cannot <laughs> use the platform. <laughs> Ban it. Listen, I get that it's very hypocritical of us to uh, be banning the social media for, uh, for at least for the given reasons, um, because obviously all of our social media companies do all of the things Not that the TikTok does. So sure, it's hypocritical. That said, <coughs> right. TikTok is so annoying, man. That's it. It's not. It's not like. Oh, I, I, I'm not talking about principles. It's not here ideological. I no. Don't, I don't think. I'm not worried I about just the Chinese. Actually hate that app. Yeah, that's it. I hate it. <laughs> I, I do think that TikTok radicalizes people. Like I see people expressing like the most hateful, vile fucking shit. I don't think it's any worse than fucking Facebook. TikTok. Well, I haven't. I haven't been on in that regard, dude. I haven't or been Twitter on Twitter, especially. I think Twitter's the worst yeah. now. Oh, Twitter's it is. just four chan. Oh, if tw- if we had an option to ban Twitter, I'm fucking mm-hmm. checking that. Yeah, I, too, I'm buddy. for banning them all. <laughs> I'm just saying TikTok. If that's the TikTok. first to go, <laughs> let's home. kill all go social media but YouTube. Yeah, <laughs> TikTok is not going anywhere. And Twitch maybe gets a pass. We'll see. Twitch. They could just come to YouTube. Yeah, fuck them. Um, I'm seeing a lot of sen- that sentiment in the chat. Ban it all. I think social ban media might be. I think it might be. Um, winding down as a pheno- as a as a cultural phenomenon. Uh, I don't think so. S- social don't media in general. Yeah, I mean, like to- this is kind of full circle to what we were talking about at the beginning of the episode. But it, I do see it as an extension of the fucking same problem that's ruining most corners of the internet, which is that it's all just becoming so flooded with bullshit. And I, the ad thing is like part of what you're talking about. Uh, it's partially that. It's partially like AI generated content, just bots and all the shit. It's becoming a significant portion of the traffic on all of these sites. And I don't really see that changing. If anything, I just see that continuing to 
become a bigger and bigger thing. So <coughs> at a certain point, it's like the product itself becomes unenjoyable. I mean, at that point, I guess probably a new one will crop up or something, and it's it, they'll always be chasing whatever the hot new app is or whatever. I think but Zen needs to make an app. You think so, <laughs> Zen? Yeah. I, Zinstagram. Yeah, to me, tick, TikTok is the worst. I, I haven't been on Facebook legit in probably, I want to say like 15 years. I don't think I've logged into that shit. Not, not le actually, more like 12 years probably. I used it in like my early YouTube career. When I started, it was our most important social media Isn't platform. Isn't that yeah, weird? I haven't used Facebook since like 2012 or so. Is that why so you haven't accepted my, years? my friend request? <laughs> if that's, I would absolutely accept your friend request. Um, <laughs> if if I, I don't even know my login info. Like, you I'm know, the same so for me, dude. I haven't been on there in a, a minute. That place sucks so bad. And I think, yeah, it seems like they're going to ban TikTok. And honestly, I am not sad about it. And Twitter, hopefully they go bankrupt, and then we can all just be happy, and society will become utopia, and everyone will be happy again. Yeah, right. Do you see that fucking clip of Nancy Pelosi? What did she do? She's, oh. a, she's in court, and she's like, we are going to do TikTok right. Tic-tac-toe. A winner. <laughs> a winner. <laughs> like, bitch, you have no clue Old ass. what you're talking Man, about. I'm just <laughs> chilling in Cedar Rapids. I think she just really thought she, she had a... I'm just chilling. A slammer of a soundbite. Here, here it is. All right, Nancy. Let's Talk about, Nancy. you know what old? She is old, man. Bruh. How old is Nancy? Is she's I mean, old enough to be president. <laughs> Not quite yet. Yeah. She needs a couple more years. Age. She's 33. Eight? She's older than all of them. Or what? She, uh, Joe's 81, so yeah. She got them all beat. I mean, she, listen. She's older she's, than Mitch. Mitch is 82. You know, I'll be honest. <laughs> I don't think she looks that bad. Dude, she looks. She's, look, I mean, she's she certainly far more there than Mitch McConnell. No, listen. Who is I'm going to speak. I'm going to speak about Nancy Pelosi. You're going to speak Besi on? Besides the massive, um, f you know. Can I talk about the, the jugs? Where is this going? Besides the jugs thing. <laughs> Which was fun. Exploding milk porn. Um, she looks phenomenal, and she seems together. For an 83-year-old, it's a, it's really awesome. I hope I, I hope I'm feeling that good at 83. You know. Uh, fair enough. Uh, but uh, still, it's time to retire. Yeah, it goes fast. It goes bad fast when you're that old. Who's this lady like? It goes like, bad. How many people? How many ladies do have we seen like this in our life? The haircut, everything. Old as fuck. I don't know who she is, so maybe she's I'm... serving Jackie Kennedy, though. But this this is like her advisor. I mean, this lady is like that's uh, Nancy's mom. <laughs> yeah, she's so great. really good. For it's 105. Her. <laughs> <Yeah>. Crazy. <laughs> Bring her everywhere. This is not an attempt to ban TikTok. It's an attempt to make TikTok better. Tic tac toe. A winner. A oh, winner. you didn't have to do that. <laughs> this is not. <laughs> you did not. Uh, but, to do uh, no, she girl, snapped with that. You missed it. She, she snapped. Th she thought she ate. She did nothing. <laughs> <laughs> to be honest, though, like the the famous jugs photo, <laughs> <laughs> Miss Beautiful. Yeah, no, she I, is queen of the universe. I mean, in that she photo. served for an eighty three year old. I she sure yeah. did. I didn't think that you know, <laughs> you could express that much um, <laughs> elasticity or something. Is or, jugs the <laughs> Is jugs the funniest word for boobs, you think? Like, no, but she has jugs. <laughs> Shut the fuck up. That's crazy. Not all girl has jugs. Can you pull up the photo? <laughs> you guys deserve to see it. It's truly uh, the treasure. I mean, God bless her, man. I hope. I swear to God, at 83, I hope that I've got jugs like those. Do <laughs> you think that's why that guy went over to Paul's house? He's like, if, if I can't have her, no one can. <laughs> oh, he was in love with her. Yeah. Oh. That's not the story they say. They say. Yeah, there was another thing. It, they, it was the two of them, you know. Anyway, why are we talking about Nancy Pelosi? I don't know. <laughs> but fuck TikTok. TikTok. Yeah. Tic tac toe. Tic tac. Tic tac got your toe. A winner. Tiger got you by the toe. Tic tac. Tack toe. <laughs> if he hollers, let him go. A winner. Any, meeny, ticky, tacky toe. Um, 
so that's fresh and fit. Yeah. Um, did you get the uh, the sad update? No. What happened? Uh, the Wendy's is not coming. What? What the fuck? We're so cursed. Yeah. Wait, coming. what happened with the new one? So I was messaging with the driver, and the driver says that they have no record of the order, even though I was notified that it is ready to be picked up. So I called Wendy's, and they were like, yeah, we don't have the order. Sometimes they don't get transferred from Postmates. So then I called Postmates, and they were like, no, they definitely have the order, and it's ready to be picked up. So I don't know. I just said, at this point, just cancel it. Like, it's just ridiculous. It's done. I want a refund, Pick and I want a credit, code. too. Yeah, they refunded Over. us for everything. Do we get a credit? Uh, I'm, I want a credit. We get a refund. I want a credit. I'll talk to your manager so hard. <laughs> They can't hear me because they're listening to kids talk. Well, I'm fucking starving. I mean, what is Well, let's get out of here. Something? We've been going for almost three and a half I, I hours. I know. We, we can let's leave, leave, but we sh I wanted my damn Baconator, man. Me too, bro. Grab some oh. on the way home. All right. Well, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to feast at home because it's Friday, baby. It's Friday, baby. Can I also send some appreciation to Gabe? I mean, he is so awesome. Big He's up. the best. He is the best. He is so fucking great. And it really has become more and more apparent to me that, like, Gabe is always like naturally funny, but he's actually like clever funny a lot of the time. Too. <laughs> Dude, he like, was, he's the, a showman. The shit that he was saying on the boat is cracking me the fuck up. Like he's, he's good. He good. is good. He is good. <laughs> you should have seen him at Nick's show. He, he was getting down like nobody's business. <laughs> nice. Yeah, people are accusing me of lying. There's one thing I do want to clear up here, Dan, before we go. Mm. I said on the members live, I said, let me take a sip of water. I'm being called out. Oh, here. I knew this was gonna bite you in the ass. And yeah, I watched I, this happen in real time. Now I hear it. I am sipping a root beer, not water. Where's the water, buddy? Now you know what's funny. <laughs> I love all the different fonts. Why the fuck you lying? <laughs> Why and, you your hands lying? and fresh and fit, they're gonna use this against me. But I swear to God, on everything that's holy in this world, that was water. What? It, it was wow. water. <laughs> so you put water in it. Well, so I, I, oh, fucking shit. I'm like, I drink too much soda, right? So I, I'll sip, I'll crush a soda, and then I'll fill it up with water so that I have to consume that before moving on. And then you no. still got a little bit of the. I did. Flavor. I swear to God. <laughs> what? You still got a little bit of the flavor of the A and I, I think I, I don't like that. I rinse it out. But that A&W is great shit. Oh, dude. I've got one in the car for the ride home. Oh. By the way, no caffeine in it, which Will is not oh. preferable, but I can share it with my boys, and they love it. Wait, you ah. left it in the car for Aww. to drink it on your way home? I was. I meant to drink it on the way here, but I forgot. But you're planning on drinking it anyway? It's going to be hot. That's going to be hot as fuck. Because um, I, 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 yeah. I sometimes bring a soda with me in the car, and then I forget it, and I never drink it, pretty much. Just because I, ha I have a things. I have a diet Dr. Pepper has been in the car for a year. <laughs> yeah, right. Dude! <laughs> what the fuck? One yeah. day, one day. <laughs> one day you'll drink that. It's going to be great. You want it so bad. Yeah, yeah. you want. You need yeah. a backup soda. Yeah, yeah. Backup soda? Yeah. I have a couple Excuse of those me. rolling around on the floor. <laughs> <clears throat> um, <laughs> let's see. This off the rails intro, I actually want to do that on Wednesday. Somebody made an off the rails one because everyone's right. missing yeah, let's the save it for uh, for off the rails the Zach and Ian collab. So, anything else you guys want me to to check out? Oh, I wanted to give this girl a shout out. Um, oh, Ashley, the, head. the heads v via Nova. Um, she's been making super cool art of the crew. She makes these really cool, um, like monster sculptures. Lady V Monstrosities on Instagram. Here's the one of Zach. It's so dope. That is so sick. It's Whoa. terrifying as all fuck. I mean, yeah, it is scary. But that is sick. That I like really the chest cool. hair. Looks like super legit. Yeah. yeah. yeah and the beard. Wow. That's hey, there's a video of it. Let's see. I don't know if the music's probably. I muted it. Yeah. She's super <laughs> talented. That's so cool. That's amazing. Oh, Really disrupting the show, guys. <laughs> Hell yeah. Wow. That's cool. So she did, I think, most of us. Like this one's Sam. Who's Sam? This oh, is. Oh, yes, dude. <laughs> pretty I love Sam. that. <laughs> that There's also a video of, of Kim Sam. Kardashian. <laughs> Kim Kardashian. That's sick. 
It's sick, right? Mm -hmm. Yeah. <coughs> and then there's, um, let's see. They said there's one of Dan, but I didn't find it. I was going through here so slowly. Tell me if you see it. There's one of me that's really good that I'm working my way towards. Oh, this, yeah, here. There's you. Look at this shit. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. That's really good. I do not smoke, okay, for the record. She has this really good job of like the hair. Yeah. It's just so fucking like seedy and f I don't yeah. know. It's so, like it just looks like. <laughs> it's awesome. Yeah. Hair. Yeah, really cool. That's Lady V Monstrosity. Everyone was saying there's a really great one of Dan. I didn't see it. Uh, this one? Uh, yeah, that looks just <laughs> like me. Maybe it was one of the videos if you scroll uh, up, up more. Man. Um, which one? Go up. Uh, there was one that it was like the beginning of the process. Yeah, right there, there where in, she's the in the middle. I think I checked this one. It wasn't this one? No. <laughs> Oh yeah, I don't. Yeah, I feel like you're not. In, are you an overall I don't, guy? I don't. I'm not an overall guy. Yeah. Yeah, but check her out. She's she's Maybe mega it should talented. Be, though. Yeah, I mean that doll looked great. Should I wear overalls, guys? <laughs> Is that weird? Overall chat. Fuck, oh, dude. Chat. Oh, I. Chat. Oh, I see. Chat. Should I wear overall? Shut the Should I wear overall? Are you showing all these, Ian? Always wear overall. Yeah. 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 We've been seeing it. I was like, "Is this Dan?" No. I mean, I could be. Uh, Paul, no, this is poultry. Anyway, we love her. Shout out. Woo, good job. Very good. Very good. Um, <sighs> anything else? All right, let's go. On fan edit now. Um, yeah, yeah, yeah. That's it. So there you go. Very good. Very good. Drinking uh, episode Monday. So Monday, we'll be doing the St. Patty's Day extravaganza. It's going to be fun. Yeah. It's going to be off the rails. Yeah. yeah. It's a wrap. <laughs> I guess I'm getting drunk two times this year, eh? Yeah. Also, I'll probably regret announcing this because it's not a thousand percent confirmed, but it's looking very likely next Wednesday, Bobby and Kalila. Oh, fun. Yay. I knew that. They and then wanted... Friday will be the next Bachelor Day. So packed week of shows. It's a wrap. Very exciting. So the Bachelor might probably be on Friday. Right. Bobby's coming on. And Kalila are coming on Wednesday. I love uh, having them on. It's always super fun. Yep. Well, guys, it's been another week, another week of adventures. We found love. We found heartbreak. It's a wrap. We cried. We laughed. And everything in between. Um, and, uh, you know, have a great, safe St. Patty's Day. Yes, be safe out there. As all the all the hor the many many millions of Irish, only the Irish will be celebrating. I, you could have a St. Patty's Day party and there's not a single Irish person there. It's all I don't know how it became American, but we love it. <laughs> it's ours now. We, can shove your in your <laughs> we we culturally appropriated St. Patrick. We did. You're ours now, fucker. What did he even do? What's his deal? We had this whole conversation. <laughs> you know what? Year. Why don't He's we talk the guy about that it? killed the snake. <laughs> yes, yes. And let's talk about it on Monday because no. that's St. Patrick's Day. He well, killed the snakes. Then we're celebrating. He killed him. <sighs> um, and um, wishing a happy weekend to Nancy Pelosi's giant jugs. All right. Thanks, everybody. See you. See you next week. <laughs>